From Jackson County High School here in McKee, Kentucky, it is the Jackson County Generals home to the Shawnee Golden Eagles from Louisville. Hi folks, Mick Gonzalez here along with Hunter Carroll. Hunter, this is PRTC TV's Game of the Week, and what a doozy it is. This one has got a lot of hype coming into it of two schools that essentially were, this rivalry was born out of two teams that didn't have a team to play during the pandemic, and here we are now, and it's become a healthy in-state rivalry. Yeah, and, you know, this is a game that, you know, both sides really look forward to. Is, uh, and, you know, during the pandemic, both teams really were kind of on the verge of, of closing and everything like that. So, we, you know, really glad to see both both these teams be able to get out and be able to keep this rivalry going. Well, the Generals and the Golden Eagles are set to kick off, and we'll have the opening kick when we come back right here on PRTC TV. There's so many great things about life in gig country, and PRTC is proud to be one more. A local internet provider with all the speed and reliability your family needs. Backed by hometown service and support. Whether you need to just check email or power multiple Wi-Fi devices all over your home, we've got the right package for you. Stop by one of our friendly offices, give us a call, or visit us online to learn more. ERTC, your local internet connection. Video gaming is a great way for families to have fun together. And PRTC's reliable internet and Wi-Fi is a game changer. Super fast download and upload speeds up to one gig. And Gigaspire whole home Wi-Fi. Power today's most exciting games on consoles, handhelds, even VR headsets with no lag or buffering. Contact PRTC and level up to game-changing internet and whole home Wi-Fi today. Yes, we're all quite over staying home right now. But we can make it better by streaming the great shows and movies we've been wanting to see. PRTC can help. With fast, reliable internet speeds up to one gig, enhanced by reliable Wi-Fi. Stream all you want, no matter how many gadgets are going at once. And with our new Gigaspire Blast, you'll enjoy the ultimate Wi-Fi experience everywhere in your home. Contact PRTC to sign up or upgrade today. If your outdoor projects call for digging, you need the right tools, including one of these. It's never been more important to call 811 or visit call811.com to locate underground utilities before you dig. Essential connections to your home are just below the surface and can be easily cut. So use one of these tools to call or go online and know what's below. This message provided as a public service by your friends at PRTC. Did you hear about the wireless plan with no credit check? No contracts, but tons of great features. It's forward pay with Appalachian Wireless. Deals start as low as $19.99 per month for unlimited talk and text and no long-term commitment. Use your own device or ask about deals on the latest and greatest devices. Some as much as $250 off. Forward pay on the region's best network. Because we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. The AppalachianWireless.com for terms and conditions. Today, reliable internet is crucial for everyone to thrive. PRTC gets it. And we want you to know if you are currently enrolled in the Affordable Connectivity Program or Lifeline to help with your PRTC bill. You will lose these important benefits if you sign up for a government-funded cell phone plan. Protect your ACP or Lifeline benefit. Contact PRTC to learn more. We understand an upside-down world, but they're writing us off before we get to the starting line. A stalled generation? Who do you think is gonna fix all this? We will, because our future is the future. So we're going to build bridges and hospitals in a day and feed those left in the cold. We're going to do all this and more because we have an appointment with destiny. So, what are we doing here? Well, just a trim. Maybe kind of a layered look. <laughs> Will you read the sign? How about some real choice? Uh, 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 like the choices you get with IPTV, new from PRTC. Enjoy free HD and new features like on-screen caller ID. Plus, record four programs at once with our HD DVR. PRTC, it's all about you. 
Jackson County High School is the place to be here on this beautiful Friday night for football. You've got Hunter and Mick, and of course, uh, a, a full stadium of rabid Jackson County general fans as they welcome in the academy at Shawnee e Golden Eagles Football Club. These are two teams, Hunter, that, uh, well, they're both smaller schools. But you know what? When when uh, when this game was first played in Louisville, everyone was so tickled about the fact you got two you got two schools from different environments, but they can come together on the football field and put on a great game and have a good time doing it. And they're going to do it again this time here up here on Education Mountain. Yeah, and you know, really excited about this uh, matchup. You know, and this even being KSR's game of the week as well. Um, so, but this is two things that. Uh, we're really excited about too, Mick. It's just that you know these two teams being able to come together and play, and like you said, they're you know from two different. It's almost like a flip of of schools and, and environments of everything that both these kids go through and things like that. But we're very excited, uh, you know, be able to get this game back off and get it going and looking for the first time in school history for the Generals to win three games in a row. Yep, you've got the Appalachians against Louisville. You've got uh, an academy versus a public. And I tell you, it just, it could, you couldn't ask for better. And, of course, the conditions here are fantastic. Last time we were together for a broadcast, Hunter, we had a three-hour delay. We were playing basically West Coast football because uh, we didn't have a, the kickoff until after 10 o'clock here local time. But the fact that we were able to get it off and get a big win Jackson from the Jackson County perspective, uh, bouncing back after that opening week loss to Trimble County and to come back and beat Knott County and then the big win yesterday against or uh, last week rather against Phelps that had to put a lot of uh, a lot of confidence into Nick Sizemore's troops yeah and, and one thing too that you really feel like you know if you're Nick si coach Sizemore and the general squad is that you're really you're one or two plays away from actually being three and oh instead of being two and one but uh you know, you can't change the past, but one thing, you know, really look forward to, too, to see how these generals are going to be able to keep that momentum going and really hope to see if they don't, like, can maybe let this 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 moment and everything kind of go to their heads and never, you know, really experiencing this winning program like that they've had. So you're really, you know, kind of hoping to hope that they can handle – they've handled adversity for being down and being and losing and things like that. Are they going to be able to ride the momentum with this win and see if they'll be able to keep this win streak going? Well, we got the uh, two teams at midfield for the coin toss, and, of course – the Golden Eagles, they again, this is a team that has had their struggles as well. Uh, they had a long losing streak snap this year, so they're one and two coming into this, and they are looking for, uh, to see if they can. They won the last time these two teams played. They were victorious. So they're looking to try and keep that momentum going. As, let's see who wins the toss here. And who's going to get the ball first. I believe Jackson County is going to be getting the ball first. Looks like Shawnee won the toss and elected to defer. Okay, so they'll defer to the second half. Both teams shake hands, and we're ready for some football. Again, a great night here. The sun is uh, gone behind the trees, mm -hmm. and there's no shadows on the field. A nice, cool night instead of that, that roaster we had yeah. the last time we were here. Yes, and, you know, really, really kind of feels like one of those fall – uh, football nights, you know, everything everything seems right. The sun's went down, not too hot, not too cold. You know, the wind doesn't seem like it's going to be a factor tonight either. So one thing really seen here with the generals getting this football start is really like to see if they'll put some points on the board, uh, really set the tone with this first drive and see how they're going to be able to do it. Well, PRTC always proud to present uh, Jackson County Jay football Lowell. here for our local fan base, but also want to give a tip of the cap and shout out to those outside the area, whether they be in Louisville or elsewhere within the Commonwealth. A uh, big uh, tip of the hat to them and hello as they're watching here on our on our web feed. And of course, got to thank Mr. Mark Selfridge and company and all his crew for putting this broadcast together as always. So, Jackson County set to receive this kickoff as you got to wonder, too, uh, the Eagles arrived here at Education Mountain late. They got here about 20 minutes before kickoff. So they had just a brief stretch, and you got to wonder how much that's going to impact the way that they play this game today. Yeah, and really, too, you see, feel like here with the, this going is getting everything, see who's going to be able to come out and take that first momentum, and then really see if either, which other team is probably going to be able to take the best punch and be able to respond. Kicking off for Shawnee, number 14, Kyrie Smackety. So Kyrie Smackety set to kick this ball off here for the Golden Eagles. 
And we are underway. A squibbler up the gut. It's going to be picked up. Instant field position here for the, county, the Jackson County Generals as it'll be returned out near the 45-yard line. And I believe that may have been Ashton Clemens that returned that one. So it'll be first and 10 Generals at their own 45-yard line. by number three, Ashton Clemens. Of course, the attack for Jackson County goes through quarterback Ashton Ward. And, of course, line. not only Clemens, first but also Jaden Lovell. Jones. And we'll see what happens here. Yeah, and another player to watch, too, as well, is number 18, Ethan Wilson. He, he along with Lovell, were our co-players of the game the last time yeah. we were together. And, you know, they really kind of delivered that one-two punch, both two different styles. Oh, here you go. Here's the handoff up the gut. And right away, a first down run into Eagle territory. Huge play for the Generals as Ethan Wilson was able to carry the mail and explode through that line. They will spot we that ball the at the 41-yard line. Gain is good for a first down generals. So Jackson County set to scrimmage first and 10 from the 41-yard line of Shawnee. Ward takes the snap. He'll hand the ball off again. This time, however, the Golden Eagle defense said no thank you. Wilson on the carry. As Wilson was shut down, no and I don't think Tackle he got four, nope, no game. Summers. So, got to credit that defense of Shawnee. They came Second to play tonight. And they're gonna, they might bend, but they're not going to break. Yeah, and Kenley looking to here make it the early going with Shawnee. Really looking like that they might they're going to stack the box and might maybe try to make Ward um, throw it with his arm, beat him with the arm, and if they can, because I mean they looks like they've got eight in the box right now. Wow, that looked like a quick. Uh, jump there but now here outside a big run again this time it's going to be all the way deep into Shawnee territory I don't think they quite got to the red zone but level was man he exploded once he hit that uh, line he exploded on the right side there and just was just moving that gain is good for another Let's see where they spot this ball first and ten Looks like they're spotting it at the 15-yard line. So good first possession here by Jackson County. Yeah, and this is really like the start that we were looking for. And that wasn't the play they were looking for as Shawnee, their defense just closed in. And a sack on Ward. Let's see how, they, how much they or where they spot that ball. Ashton Ward on the carry, loss of one for the Generals. So it looks like he lost just a yard, so it'll be second and 11. That ball will be. Really? Correction, loss huh. of four. Oh, they're saying loss of four, okay. I was wondering. That makes a little more sense. Yeah, it does. Here's the handoff now. It's going around the left side, trying to turn up field, level. Or, Correction, that was Clemens as he was forced out of bounds. The Generals ball carrier, number three, Ashton Clemens. So, let's see how much they move. It's going to be third down. It looks like Eight about ten on the play. About four to go. It looks like a long four or short five. Third and five. Coach Sizemore, and you're this far into your into your own teammates' territory that you're probably looking at. You've got two plays here to get these five yards. You know, we really, really don't feel like we have an established kicker. Well, here we go, third and fourth. On the run, they go up the gut. It's going to be close. It's going to be very close. Clock continues to run here. Ethan Wilson on as the Wilson carry. was the ball carry, 925 and counting, remaining in this opening quarter. What a nice, cool Number night for football. Oh. Fourth and fourth inches. Or, oh, what? Well, let's see what they're calling. First down, first it looks down. like. So it's a looks Correction. like it's first and goal. Wilson's carry was good for a first down. Generals. 
So they were kind of slow there. The officials are getting it, first getting it right, goal. but they got it right. That's the most important thing. So first and goal from the five. Here now is level. He's going to take it in untouched. Touchdown, Jackson County. Five-yard run by level. He had, I mean, he had a wide open gap there on the right side of the yes. line. Wide open, you know, really, and that's probably you couldn't think of a better start if you're Coach Sizemore right there, just because you know you get the ball. Uh, Shiny deferred, and you really made him pay for it by driving it down the field and really never having any trouble at all either. I mean, it was very, you know, I had that one sack there by Ward, but other than that, it was a very dominant drive for the generals. A great start. Couldn't ask for a better one. Three minutes and 19 seconds, the time of that drive. It went 55 yards. Here's the two-point conversion attempt, and that does not go. So we've got 841 to go here in this opening quarter. Jackson County draws first blood as they no lead this conversion. one over Shawnee, 6 0. You ready? You gotta love this. To crank it up yeah, yeah. and rock it out. We took you backstage and we made you laugh out loud. We brought you great stories <laughs> and a front row seat to some of country music's biggest stages. But trust us, y'all ain't seen nothing yet. That's an avalanche of awesome. This is a circle network, and we are just getting started. Most of us are in touch with the internet in one way or another all day long. A fast, secure connection matters. It keeps us entertained, informed, in touch. PRTC cares about your connection. We know strong, reliable internet with Gigaspire whole home Wi-Fi makes life better. If you need an upgrade or just have a question, get in touch. Call or visit PRTC online today. 6 nothing. the Generals on top on the five-yard run from Jaden Lovell. And Jaden Smith set to kick off here for Jackson County. As he'll put his foot into it, a short wedge. And that one's going to go out and instant field position here for Shawnee. Well, again, we talked about it at the outset. Was the fact that the Golden Eagles do not, they, did, they got here about 20 minutes before kickoff. Their buses arrived, and they didn't get much of a stretch, much of a warm-up. But, well, that, that's what happens when you, when, you're, when you go to school and you get out of school and you got to jump on a bus right away. Yeah, and you know, you know, really dominant start there by the Generals. So now let's see what what Shawnee is in store to try and bounce back. First and ten from their own forty, and this time up the gut, and no, not much more than maybe two yards tops. Nathaniel so Mitchell Nathaniel carry. Mitchell was carrying the mail there for the Golden Eagles, but he was shut down after a pickup of about a yard they're going to give him. So Edwards. Lane Edwards in on the stop. So second down and nine. Clock continues to run here as we're approaching eight minutes remaining here in this first quarter. That's one in the shotgun. Yeah, twins on each side of the line. Here's the snap. He'll dump it out on the left side. Nice move getting inside close to a first, about three yards short. So we'll see where they spot that ball. Oh, they're going to spot it back at the 45. So he must have been out when he was brought down. But so it'll be down at the 45. Third and five left to go here for the Eagles. One thing kind of it's going to seem to watch here is that um, Shawnee it looks like they're maybe going to try and do some quick, some quick stuff here to try and. Here's the pitch out the over on the side. left side, and this time that Jackson County defense converges and shuts it down. Ball carrier brought down by number 60, Nick Hayes. Big Nick Hayes out there with the stop. It'll be a fourth down punting situation here for Shawnee. Clock continues to run. Six and 45 to go. Really nice start there too by the by the generals. We're able to get that three and out, but 
Right. Looks like that the generals aren't, aren't really buying this. Fourth and seven. They, they, they don't have anyone back. Oh, well, here's the snap. And that kick does not go very far at all. Yikes. A very unfortunate kick there for the, the Eagles, but it means great field position here for Jackson County. 6.23 to go in the first. And right now, the uh, Generals with a six-point lead. Yeah, you know, real, really nice start there too by the generals take over for the for the, the generals. The I mean, you you couldn't ask for a better start. You're right, you're right on the 50 here. You know, you had a great start. One thing I would like to maybe try to see if your coach size more is uh, maybe try to get that pass game going just a little more than what you have in the past. It really seems like that Shawnee's Josh committed to the run. So we're excited to see you know if if Ward can get going. First and 10, here you go. There's the handoff, and again, more real estate gained. Level as Lovell carry. was able to force his way through on the right side. Josh and it looks like it's a pickup of about, it looks like about, they're saying six, but uh, I'm, it looks closer to seven. But yeah. we'll call it, we'll call it second and, and we'll call it three. Really nice, really nice start there. Good, good first play. Really making that second manageable, and that's one thing that you really want to do to have success tonight. If you're the Generals or Shawnee, is to make sure that you're not playing from behind the chains. Here you go. Oh my, that one blew up in the oh, Generals' the faces. Is that was just not pretty from the get go. That was Recovered a, by number four. It was Jacob a mess. Summers. It was messed up there from the handoff. Of the Golden Eagles. And the Shawnee Golden Eagles on the turnover get the ball back near midfield. Shawnee so the first break the of the game goes line, the way of Shawnee with 5.39 remaining. They'll have it first and 10 at midfield. Summers on the recovery there for the Golden Eagles. They'll have it again first and 10 at the midfield stripe. Here's the snap. They're going to dish out here on the right side. Pick up of about maybe three yards forward progress. As that was the right idea, as that was Jamont Ware, who was the receiver. But his forward progress, well, they're going to give him two, it looks like. So second and eight. Really nice play there by Level and Clemens both kind of really to blow that up. And it seems like to me, Mick, in the early going, that that's what Shawnee's going to try and do. They're going to try and do those quick passes, get it out, get the, get the ball in their playmaker's hand and let them make a play. Really feel like that, you know, they don't feel like they have the advantage between the number, between the guts, but on the outside numbers, they really feel like they've got the advantage tonight. Here we go, second and eight. Ball at the Jackson County 20 or 48 yard line. As that one's passed outside and nice. <laughs> Good coverage there, maybe a yard at best, and that is it. Good coverage there by the Generals. Yeah. That was Nick Hayes, Johnny on the spot, man. Nick's having a game so far here in this opening quarter. Yeah, and really, really, you know, kind of was able to make that tackle, grabbing him by his, by his jersey with – you know, really probably end up saving a really big play right there if, if he wasn't able to do that. I was going to say, he could still be running otherwise. Yep, but we got an injured uh, eagle down on the field here with 4.33 to go in the opening quarter. A bundle from PRTC is your local choice for internet, TV, and phone at a better value. Our internet's faster than ever with consistent, affordable speeds no matter how many devices are online. State-of-the-art TV connections deliver more HD choices, convenient DVR options, and now TV everywhere. And unlimited local calling with new long-distance plans backed by exceptional 24-hour customer service. Make the local choice for a better value. Call or visit PRTC online today. As a U.S. veteran, imagine getting the care you need without driving all the way to Lexington. At the Virtual Living Room in McKee, you'll have access to VA doctors who can prescribe medications through an easy-to-use computer set up in a private, comfortable environment inside the Jackson County Public Library. Schedule an appointment through your VA doctor today. Gigabit broadband internet service for the Virtual Living Room is provided by PRTC. 
Well, the injured players off the field, Richard Haviena, so it will be third down and seven. Here's the handoff. And it's not going to make it. As the Generals, that defense is playing mighty fine tonight. Yeah, really props there to the Generals. Uh, really, really impressive right there. Just to, you know, kind of be able to, to handle that adversity of giving, giving the fumble up and having the turnover on downs and everything like that. So it's fourth down here as Nathaniel Mitchell was not able to move the ball. It'll remain fourth and seven. So another punt here for the Golden Eagles. So again, nobody here to re on the receiving end here for the Generals. That one was nearly blocked. Another pop up and it's gonna take though an Eagle bounce. So it will get. I believe that Shawnee's gonna be able to keep possession here. Roughing the kicker. Yeah, they were. They almost blocked it, but yeah, I think they may have gotten a piece of them. So we'll see what referee Willie Rogers has to say about this. So they're still trying to sort things out over there. Still going to be fourth down by the looks of it. I believe that's just a five-yard penalty. Yeah. So it was. Uh, I think that was running into the kicker and not roughing the kicker. A five-yard penalty. So now, too, though, if you're if you're Shawnee, you really feel like that you probably might like your chances. Uh, they're probably going to be going for this instead of your of punting and putting in this ball away. The well, offense trots back onto the field. Yep, you're right there, partner. 3:51 to go in the opening quarter, fourth and two, at the Jackson County 42-yard line. Ball off the le left mark or harsh. Now rolling out outside. Nice. Oh, didn't get it. Did not get it. Quarterback keeper did not go well. As Henderson was shut down, he couldn't turn up field as that was a sea of red over there that was able to stop him. I believe, I believe that was Hayes that come in was able to make that tackle. And with 3.45 to go, Jackson County takes over on downs. They'll have the ball at their own 44-yard line. The lights on here as the sun is now setting. Just an absolutely gorgeous night here on Education Mountain. You really couldn't ask for a better night. No, you could not. Here we go. Ward takes the – oh, Loss had trouble with that snap again. Now – Question is, was it offside or was it a false start? And it looks like. Let's we'll see what's going on here. I think they're going to call this. Is this a turnover? Yes, it is. First and 10 for the Golden Eagles. Number four, Jacob Summers. Jacob Summers on the, co on the recovery. So it will be first and 10 here for. Shawnee. First and ten, Shawnee Golden Eagles from They'll the have it at the yard line. Jackson County 42. And right now, a lot of, well, early on, a lot of mistakes here yeah. by the Generals, but they still hold on to this six-point lead. Hey, but one thing, too, Mick, you and I both know, you really can't keep relying on your defense to keep doing this and, and you know, keep holding in, in this bending up break, and they're going to get get tired eventually. You know, really going to be able to have to give these guys a break at some point in time. Here we go, first and ten. Here's the snap. They're going to air it out on the left side. Oh. That one is broken up. Yeah, our own that was a big collision over there, but still, most important thing is the pass was incomplete. So it's second and ten here for the Eagles. Yeah, some are. Summers really almost had the interception that kind of Roseboro kind of got in his way there, kind of a a, a, a fire of their own teammates seven, there. But really, really nice play there by Summers. Really kind of – the quarterback there, Henderson, he's going to have in the back of his head that Summers is going to be back there all night. So we'll see what Jerome Henderson has dialed up now. Second and ten. Ball at the Jackson County 42. Three and 37 remaining here in the opening quarter and timeout. Timeout, timeout gonna be taken here by 
I believe that was uh, Shawnee. Shawnee. Yep, Shawnee's taking the timeout with 3.37 to go here in quarter number one. Not enough power? Not okay. Weak Wi-Fi? Also not okay. These days, your home's got Wi-Fi connected gadgets and devices here, there, everywhere. And they all use more and more Wi-Fi until, luckily, an easy upgrade to PRTC fast, reliable internet with Gigaspire whole home Wi-Fi makes it all okay. Call or visit PRTC online for a great upgrade offer today. Fiber-powered internet from PRTC is fast, crazy fast. Experience crazy fast internet speeds from PRTC with reliable downloads up to one gig. Now you can surf, stream, game, chill with speed to spare. And with our new Gigaspire Blast, you'll enjoy the ultimate Wi-Fi experience everywhere in your home. Accelerate your internet. Contact PRTC to sign up or upgrade your internet today. Second and 10 here for the Golden Eagles as they have it at the general 42. Here's the snap again. Henderson's going to air it out over here on the right side. That pass overthrown just over the fingertips of number 42. They don't have him on the roster, so. But, it, hey, he, he looked good. He was trying to ju yeah. jump for that ball, so we'll give him that. And it'll make it third and 10 here from the 42. Third and That'll stop the clock here with 332 and seems to be a long first quarter. And one thing too, Mick, been really impressed so far in the early going with the generals being able to handle this deep, this uh, deep ball game that, that Shawnee's been trying to do just because it's something that they've really not seen so far, really been impressed with the early going of how they've handled that. Henderson's going to air it out again. This time the pass is complete, but it will be short of the first down by about approximately Henderson's three yards. You got to feel like, too, where, where Shawnee's at on this in the position that you're really looking at probably going for it right here. So they're going to give them five yards, fourth and it's going to be fourth and five. Eagles. So, yeah, where they're at, and as we've seen with the punting in this yeah. first quarter, yeah, it's – So fourth down here again, the Golden Eagles going for it. This Jackson County defense being asked to stop them again. Under center now. And we've got another whistle. Got a flag. That looks like, is it false start on? Yeah, it's false start against the Eagles, so they'll move it back five, so it'll be fourth and ten. Penalty on the play, false start against the Eagles. Fourth and nine. Yep. Well, you went from fourth and five to fourth and nine. Yeah, you kind of got to really expect now if you're the generals, you're going to be looking for that pass instead of the, if you know that fourth and two that you had your whole playbook now it's really looking like you're going to be drop back they're going to be dropping back here we go fourth down here's the snap anderson looking he's going to dish it off on the left side pass is complete and it's going to be good enough for a first down cutting back inside the 40 yard line inside well, we'll see where they spot this. It looks like it's inside the, the right at the 30 yard line. So Henderson perseverance pays Lincoln off here for the Golden Brandon Eagles Mitchell. as Mitchell hmm. was able to haul and that one in to the 30 yard Eagles. line. So it'll be first and 10 for Shawnee at the 30 yard line of Jackson County. First and 10 on the 30 yard line. Well, the 29 yard line. They, the one official was standing on the 30, and then the guy putting the ball down put it down at the 29. So please forgive us for that one. And I really feel like, too, that Shawnee's kindly figured out that, that maybe their advantage is going to be getting it to the outside. Although, yeah, a great run right here all the way inside the 10, or right to the 10, and a nice 20-yard gallop. Summers on the stop, but not before a 20-yard uh, scamper there by John Barty. 
And Barty was able to get it down to the nine yard line, so it'll be first and goal. As the academy from Shawnee looking to get on the board. And they'll take the snap. They'll roll out. This time, nice. though, the general defense says no thank you. So we've got 90 seconds left here in this opening quarter. Tackle by number 20, Gage Curtis. Gage Curtis having another good game on defense. Yeah, a little kind of mis miscommunication there with the center and the quarterback. Uh, kind of muffed that muffed, muffed that snap just a little line. bit. And then, you know, uh, Barte was kind of really trying to make something out of nothing, but props to Curtis for being able to blow that play up completely. So it's second and goal back at the 15-yard line as we're into the final minute of play here in this first quarter. Dropping back now, Henderson looking to air it out, and he is nice. going to be sacked. Good coverage by the Jackson County secondary, and that, ga that gave the defensive line time to get to Henderson well, and drop him. Because again, Gage Curtis, along with Clemens, getting back to sack Henderson. It's going to be down at the 26, so it's third and goal. Loss of 11 on the play. Yeah, and we will see. And, 26. and really nice play there, too, by by Curtis and, and Clemens both. Mick, I felt like they did a very good job of beating their assignment and being able to kind of go down, uh, get after them, cause that pressure to make this a third, a third and a mile. Yep, so that's going to be the last play of this opening quarter as we will start f third and goal from the 26th of Jackson County and when we resume play. Jaden Lovell with the five-yard touchdown run, the only Shawnee difference right now in this ball game Jackson as Jackson County has six and Shawnee has nothing. There are lots of small reasons to have home phone service and one very big one. 911 emergency location. Only a call from your home phone instantly transmits your address to emergency personnel. Cell phones can't. 911, what's your emergency? If trouble comes to your home, seconds count. PRTC Home Phone helps first responders do their job. It's a small price to pay for what you can save. Located in the Jackson County Regional Industrial Park in Anvil, Kentucky, the Jackson County McKee Industrial Development Authority helps companies and communities win. It is and always will be our mission to recruit new business and industry and support the people in our region. We want the people and industry to stay in Jackson County and here's why. We offer workforce information and training, business planning for new and existing businesses, the fastest broadband in Kentucky, state-of-the-art facilities, and financial assistance and tax incentives. All of this with a rich culture of communities that care. We were just announced as a certified work ready in progress area. What does this mean for Jackson County? It means that we're ready to go to work with a diverse, skilled, and dedicated workforce. We now have a prime 22-acre construction-ready location just off the newly constructed Highway 30 and only 18 miles from I-75. Close enough, yet far enough. We're Kentucky's advanced manufacturing hub. Twenty-six. Well, uh, the chain gang has not mm. caught up to the. They were. Uh, Delay of game due to the chain gang being on the wrong end of the field. Well, it's nice to know that the chain gang getting some love here from the press box, as they are hustling to get down. Someone remind those everybody. Guys, there's a football game going on here. Oh, wow. Oh. Dean, the PA announcer over here with. Uh, Boy, some tough love here for the chain gang. Well, they make it down to the other end of the field as everybody switched sides except for the chain gang, but they got there. And yep. it is third down and goal from the Jackson County 26-yard line. Shawnee moving the ball, unfortunately, in the wrong direction. Yeah, that's one thing you love if you're a, if you're a Jackson County Generals fan, but not if you're a Shawnee fan of, you know, this Kenley. Obviously, you've got two plays here, so you'd like to get a little bit of it back. Probably not going to get all of it back in one play. Here's the snap, and again, being flushed out. And, oh, a big hit over on the sideline. Nice. And I don't even think it got back to the line of scrimmage. We'll see where they spot that ball. Matter of fact, it looks like he lost a yard or two. 
So. One thing right there too, you know, real nice clean tackle by level. Didn't feel like anything was dirty there. Went right for the waist like they teach you. Just a real nice fundamental play there. And also really nice pressure there by number three, Ashton Ward. Feel like he's really starting to get home and make his presence known on the defensive end. So a loss of three on that play. play. It is fourth and, and goal and from the 29-yard line. So the Eagles will be going for it. And at, and at this point, too, you really just want to contain if you're the generals not not really trying to do anything special just keep everything in front of you this way we can and we've got a whistle another timeout by shawnee my gosh so they've only got one timeout left here in this first half it was only a minute into this so uh, well again big thank you and a big welcome to our fans uh, the fans of shawnee that are watching this over in louisville and elsewhere throughout the commonwealth of course, a uh, lot, of, lot of eyes on this one because it was uh, the Kentucky Sports Radio Game of the Week. So we tip our hats to them, and thanks for all the publicity, letting folks know that we've got this game for them. Oh, yeah, and really, you know, really glad that everyone will be tuning in. Whether you're a Jackson Kane Generals fan or a Shawnee fan or just a football fan, really glad to have everyone out here tonight with us and being able to enjoy this game between these two schools, kind of, you know, a cross-state rivalry. Well, I tell you, and for Jackson County, this is important because, number one, they all, they want to get even in this series with Shawnee, but also the fact that they're 2-1 and one now, so they want to get a, a, another W because they're going to be hitting the road for the next few games. Yeah, and as we mentioned, too, you know, we're really looking this might be the first time in general history that they have a three-game win streak. Four so, you know, that's something we're really Eagles. hoping to see maybe for the generals by the end of the night. Here we go, fourth and goal from the 29. Another rollout. And wow, change of direction, gonna air it out deep. Oh my goodness. Interception, Interception by in the end zone. So Roseboro hauls it in and it will be first and 10 for the Generals as he picks it off. I mean, that was just a pop fly, you know, a prayer. And yeah. So it'll be first and 10 here for the Generals. They'll scrimmage from their own 20-yard line. But really not a whole lot that the Eagles quarterback, Henderson, could do about that. He was under a lot of pressure just to get that throw off. Yeah, and really had the right idea, right idea there, too. Just, you know, kind of that Hail Mary throwing it up. He looks like he had two receivers there. Just, a, you know, real props there, too, by Hayes to kind of do that almost that box out of a, of a play there. And then uh, Roseboro to be able to – cap off the interception well the other good thing too is the fact that they were able to do that without inter, uh, uh, penalty without an interference penalty they were able to not uh, to do it without drawing contact and still uh, haul that ball in so it's first and ten Jackson County at their own 20 yard line 1046 to go here in the opening half and again another whistle and I think this is an offside penalty here against the uh, against Shawnee Really nice there, too, by, by number 11, Ward, quarterback, with that nice hard count to be able to get Shawnee to jump. Really feels like the Generals have been going on one count all, all game, and they were able to capitalize on that this time. Well, I think if you're, if you're Nick Sizemore and you're the Jackson County Generals right now, you would like to see a long, a long drive right about now. Give your defense a bit of a rest. Here we go. Here's... I believe it was a fumble. Believe that was a turnover, yeah. Fumble on the play. Picked up by number four, Jacob so Summers. So Jacob Summers picks it up and he takes it down. Where do they spot this? For the touchdown. touchdown. Oh my goodness. That happened so quick. A turnover again by the Generals and a touchdown by Shawnee and they have tied this game and they're gonna go for two to try and take the lead. My goodness, what a chain, chain of events here that have happened. I I mean, I looked and it didn't even, you didn't even notice. Yeah, really, really have no idea what happened there, honestly, you know, seems like there's been a lot of confusion in that between Ward and, and his center. And he's center. Well, here we go, a two-point conversion. Here's the handoff up the middle they go. And it is good. 
So with 10.39 to go here in this opening the half, Shawnee has now come back to take the lead as they lead over Jackson County, 8-6. Did you hear about the wireless plan with no credit check? No contracts, but tons of great features. It's forward pay with Appalachian Wireless. Deals start as low as $19.99 per month for unlimited talk and text and no long-term commitment. Use your own device or ask about deals on the latest and greatest devices. Some as much as $250 off. Forward pay on the region's best network. Because we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Wireless. See AppalachianWireless.com for terms and conditions. This is TV. This is TV Set Free. TV Everywhere from PRTC TV sets you free to watch what you want, where you want. Catch your favorite networks, including live TV, ready to watch on any web-connected device for no extra charge. That's TV Set Free. Enjoy the extra value of PRTC TV everywhere. Visit prtcnet.org and sign up today. Well, Eagle set to kick off here as they've got the two-point lead here over Jackson County. Boy, what a sudden turn of events. As that one is kicked deep. And here we go. A quick outside run, cut oh, back inside. And Level is off to the races. All the way, what untouched spots. Touchdown, Jackson County. The Generals number four, Jaden Level, returns the kick for a touchdown, Generals. All you needed was a big response. Cue Jaden Level. Yeah, it, and, you know, really right there, too, props to Level for, you know, handle that adversity. During the break, we kind of see there's a little frustration between, uh, you know, everyone on the on the sideline there. You know, that's the third, third turnover this half that's been due to the snap exchange between the quarterback and the center. So, really, you know, what a better way to solve that than with a kickoff return to the house right there, Mick. Amen. I'll try to see what the yardage was on that as far as how far they ran it back. So they're saying approximately an 80-yard run back by, by Jaden Level. So they will again go for two here. And well, that one did not go well again, and this time it's shut down. However, with 12, or I'm sorry, 10-25 remaining here in this second quarter, the Generals have got the lead once again as they lead this one 12-8. There's so many great things about life in gig country, and PRTC is proud to be one more. A local internet provider with all the speed and reliability your family needs, backed by hometown service and support. Whether you need to just check email or power multiple Wi-Fi devices all over your home, we've got the right package for you. Stop by one of our friendly offices, give us a call, or visit us online to learn more. ERTC, your local internet connection. Video gaming is a great way for families to have fun together. And PRTC's reliable internet and Wi-Fi is a game changer. Super fast download and upload speeds up to one gig and Gigaspire whole home Wi-Fi. Power today's most exciting games on consoles, handhelds, even VR headsets with no lag or buffering. Contact PRTC and level up the game-changing internet and whole home Wi-Fi today. Here's the kickoff grabbed by the Eagles. And a bounce outside, and it's going to be instant field position here for Shawnee. As we'll see where they spot that ball, but it's near the 45-yard line of the Golden Eagles. And it looks like they're going to spot it approximately the 44. And now they move it to the 45, so perfect. So first and 10 here for Shawnee at the 45-yard line. 10-17 to go here in the half. Ball placed on the 45-yard line. First and 10, Shawnee. So we'll see what kind of an answer that the Eagles have here for Jackson County. Anderson now again, they, well, a short gain. I believe they might have, the ball might have come out Did there come at the end too. Well, let's see, they're all gathered around there. 
but it looks like it's going to remain Shawnee ball. So we'll call it a pick of approximately two yards, maybe three. Henderson on the carry, gain of two on the play. So they're going to say two, and it'll be at the 48-yard line, just outside the 48 of Shawnee. Tell you what, for a team that only got here 20 minutes for kickoff, the Golden yeah. Eagles are playing some pretty inspired football right now. Yeah, you, and you can really tell too that th this game means a, a lot to both to both teams. Yes, and it does. There's the handoff again around the outside this time. I don't even think he got to the line of scrimmage. So the whistle goes. Forward progress. We'll see. I think they're going to spot him back at the 43. That's what it looks like. So a loss of five. Yeah, he, you know, he Mitchell Minor would have been better off there if he just would have. I don't know, but it's going to be third down here for the Golden Eagles. So they'll have it back at their own 43-yard line. Ball on the carry. Loss of one. Third and 11. So it's back to third and 11 after that loss. Uh, here we go. Here's the handoff. And nice. again, great coverage there. Well, here we go. Still loose. And I don't think he got back to the line of scrimmage. It's going to be fourth down here for the Eagles. We do have a flag. Looks like just going off the, the, the result of it, that's probably going to be a I look like a face mask or a horse collar. And that's not what you want. And we'll see what referee Willie Rogers has to say about this. Horse collar. Yep. Horse collar. So it'll be a horse collar against... Jackson County, that'll move it 15 yards, and that'll be an automatic first down. That's a 15 yard penalty and an automatic first down for the so Golden first Eagles. and 10 for Shawnee as they will spot the ball down at the Jackson County 41 yard line. So a tough break there for ball the, marked on the Generals. First and 10, Shawnee. Big break here for Shawnee as they are trying to regain the lead. So we've got 745 and counting left in this first half. Emerson now is going to roll out here. It's going to be tossed, but it goes incomplete. That'll stop the clock. So for number 42 is incomplete. So, I see they, they're having the same problem we are. There's, yeah. there's a couple players on there for Shawnee that are, their numbers are not listed on our roster. So yeah. it makes it a little difficult to give them, the, give them the love and the respect they deserve. So it'll be second and 10 here for Shawnee. Once again, at the Jackson County 41 yard line. Man in motion now. Simpson drops back. He's going to air it out deep for the home run ball, and that one almost picked off. Really nice coverage there by Roseboro. Yep. Two generals back there for the for coverage, but still, that was that one was Simpson put just a little bit too much mustard on that one. Yeah, and, you, and real really nice coverage there by Roseboro, and then kind of give him trying to get the. Assist there with That's smacking it over to Summers for Summers to be able to get the interception. Um, but, you know, really nice play there by, by Roseboro. So that brings up third and ten here for the Shawnee Golden Eagles. Third and ten, Shawnee. As they have it again at the general 41-yard line. Oh, movement on that line. Was he drawn off or did – 
to the general jump off side. He's grabbing the ball. Looks like it's going to be he jumped. Yep. So encroachment here against Jackson County. Offsides against the defense. So that makes it third and five. You don't, one thing you don't want to do is you don't want to make the job easier for your opponent. And this drive so far, 20 yards and penalties. Yeah, and, and really this is kind of something we've not really seen from the generals so far is this kind of this unorthodox kind of sloppy football really beating themselves. And this time it's going to go back five. As the flag on the play. False start. False start. Yep, it was false a false start. The, the offense. Five it looked like penalty. the receiver on the outside over there Third and ten, Sean eight. took a step first before yep. the ball was snapped. So it'll go back five yards, back to being third and ten at the 41. Yeah, kind of right back to where we started there is right before him. Can I, that, that mental mistake the generals made really kind of canceled itself out with the Shawnee mistake. Well, here we go. If they go up the gut, it goes outside. Nice. And again, well... Looked like they were going to have him back near the line of scrimmage, but he was able to burst through for some more yardage. He'll be close to a first down, but doesn't have it. So it looks like it's going to be brought down by number 66, fourth. Will Rose. It's going to be fourth and four, looks like. Gain of six on the play. And one thing, too, I really feel like that I've been impressed with so far is that the – is that Shawnee's uh, ball carriers, they just refuse to go down. They will not quit. They really keep going and attacking. Um, right, it seems like every time that the Generals might have a, a, a loss or a tackle for a loss, that, that Shawnee player just keeps on turning their legs and keeps going for the successful uh, and been able to turn something into not, nothing out of something. Yep, I understand that completely. As of course, now Shawnee – like I said, they had a, a long losing skid, and they got off that losing skid last week with the big 32-8 victory over Valley. And, you know, it, it, it's got to feel good. And, of course, they've beaten Jackson County in this, uh, in this rivalry that started last season. So they're looking to keep that ship going in the right direction. But, of course, as we said, Jackson County, this is a new generals team. And with Nick Sizemore in at the helm, getting these guys fired up. And again, a hard loss against Trimble County, but they've won back to back here against Knott County and on the road at Phelps. So here we go, fourth and four at the 35. They need to get to around the 31. Here's the handoff and a big run. And well, looks like he may have enough. It's judging from what I can see. Yeah, he's got it. Yeah, really nice carry there by number seven. Uh, that would be John Barty. John Barty. Gage Curtis. Brought down by Jay, or rather Gage Curtis, but not before the big tackle or uh, first down yardage there for that the Gage Golden Knights. For a first down Golden so Eagles. first and ten here for Shawnee. They'll have it at the 29 first of Jackson County. Shawnee. Six and a half to go here in the opening half. Along with Hunter Carroll, my name is Mick Gonzalez. We thank you so much for joining us here on PRTC TV. Simpson, up. Oh, we've got a whistle, and I believe false start. This might be. Let's tell you what, Willie Rogers has been busy tonight. So we'll wait and see what the, as they discuss this. Flag on the play. Of course, Willie Rogers, as we said, is the referee. The it is the umpire is Matt Boatman, line judge James Clark, line judge also uh, Todd well, Flannery. Flannery, I'm sorry, Todd Flannery, and A also Steve Mullen penalty. is the back judge. Yeah, that kind of that five yard. Seems like both teams too, Mick, here. The later this game's on, the little sloppier that they're getting, kindly making those mental mistakes. A lot of false yards. Oh. And again, my gosh. <laughs> the, the, someone forgot to tell the players that you got to wait till the play is whistled in. It, they were Shawnee ready to go. They're still 
the, the officials there, the side judge and the referee talking with head coach Nick Sizemore. And tell you what, got got handed to Vernon Gibson, man. He knows how to get his players ready. Yeah. And, and kind of starting one thing too, Mick, I feel like that we're starting to get a, a, a feel for is you can really start to see that dew really start to set on the field. And I think that might be part of the problem with our, our snaps on both sides. Here we go. As they break it out on the outside and again. Man, oh man, what have you got to do to try and bring down Jamont Ware? He, he covered about maybe 60 yards and he lost. <laughs> I don't know how many yards there, but uh, he ran about 60 only to lose near, well, over 10 it looks like. Loss of three on the play, second and 18. Well, yeah, that's right. I forgot with the penalty. So it was a loss of three. And he, he just ran yeah. everywhere on that field you could yeah. run. Yeah, that was kind of, you know, one of those, again, we talked about, got to really make sure that you're getting two hands on both of these, on all these Shawnee players because they are they are not going to, to move. They're not going to just go down with a little arm tackle. Nope. So it's going to be second and 18. Here's the snap and ball, errant snap. And they have to fall on the ball all the way back to approximately the 43-yard line of Shawnee. So it just went from bad to worse for the Golden Knights. Or I'm sorry, the Golden Eagles. My hockey sense is uh, getting uh, tangled up there with the Stangle, with the Stanley Cup champions, man. It's, ooh. Of course, hockey season is just around the corner, so I got, I'm, I'm pretty stoked about that. 440 and counting left to go here in this first half. And it is third in a boat ride in a boat ride third here for the Golden Eagles. Golden Eagles. Really right here too through the generals, really just kind of contain nice. There you go, and they go up mm. the gut, and not much there, but you know they're gonna go for it again. As the Eagles have not had much success with punting. It looks like they are, they're, they are going to send the punting unit out. Well, the last time they punted, they did get the running into the kicker penalty. But it is just not the strong suit here because if you look at the averages, just getting it over the, over the line of scrimmage has been pretty much the, the result here for the Eagles thus far. Looks like they do have Clemens sent back back to receive this kick. And we've got false start. No, I think so. so. Five more yards. So that will push back Shawnee another five yards. Five yard penalty. So that'll drop them back to the 36 yard line. And it's going to be fourth and 31. So fourth and a cab ride here for the Golden Eagles. And another. Oh, get out, get out of the way, get out of the way. It's going to take a Eagles bounce, but it will be down at about the 48 yard line of Jackson County, so again, instant field position here for the Generals. Yeah, one thing too, the Generals really dodged a break right there, just seeing that um, that ball up, you know, really lucky it didn't hit a General there, you know, kind of maybe got to be more aware of being able to where the ball is and things like that. So it'll be first and 10, they'll spot it at the 47, and it'll be first and 10 for Jackson County. 3.25 to go here in this opening half. It feels like it's been a long First time since we've seen the general's Eagles. offense. Yeah, and you know, again, another rough snap. And, I, and one thing, too, you know. And here you go, another turnover here as it looks like it's recovered. Well. Unbelievable. The generals recovered. It is recovered here by, by the Golden Knights. Or, I'm sorry, the Golden Eagles. I'll get that right eventually. 
Oh, my goodness. First and 10, Golden Eagle. How many turnovers does that make now? That's the fourth fumble we've had of the game. That's our uh, for the generals. And then the one turnover for the for Shawnee. We've lost every one, too. That's not a – that's not something I can see. One thing really right now is uh, Ward is – he's really kind of – he's jumping the gun on his exchange. He's really trying to go too quick. He needs to calm down, have just that little half-second delay. It's not – you know, a lot of people at home might really be trying to, you know, ag on at the center there. But from what I've noticed is that Ward is really trying to rush this process, which really has been hurting the generals. So it's first and 10 for Shawnee at the general 45-yard line. 3.21 to go in the half. Here's the run up the gut they go. And pretty decent pick up there. See where they spot that ball. Looks like around the 39-yard line. So pick up of six. Number 60, Nick Hayes. So it'll be second down and four. Well, a very sloppily played game here by both teams, but especially the Generals here with four turnovers. Yeah, all in the first half. I mean, really kindly. This is very un unorthodox of, of the generals, honestly. You, this is something we've not seen of them this year. Another turnover. This time it looks like it's general's ball. On the play. My goodness. And, you know, you called it, partner, earlier, and it was like I think it might have went over some people, is the fact that that, that evening dew that settles on the field might be playing havoc with what the snaps and the handling of the football by both teams. Yeah, and like you know, like we just kind of talked about there earlier, is of just that fumble and you know that do and everything. It really seems like that started to really weigh its toll on, on both sides of, of the ball. Um, you know, even Shawnee there in the gun. You so you really wouldn't expect it to be that much, but really seems like that ball's starting to give just a little of that uh, do on it and kind of be a little more simply, which can be very hard as. As everyone at home, though, it's listening to this play football, is how that can, how much of a big a factor that can be. No matter how much they prepare for you and everything like that, you still, it's really hard to get that, that live do feel into the game. And you know that can also, uh, you know, we haven't noticed it, but it can affect your footing. You know, as far yeah. as cutting upfield, cutting side to side, and cutting upfield. It can definitely make a difference. And it's just, uh, as we like to say about halftime, adjustments. What adjustments these teams are going to make, whether it be, you know, adjusting with their shoes, uh, et cetera. There's all kinds of things they can do. It's just what are they going to do because of the do. I smell a Mountain Dew yeah. uh, sponsorship <laughs> coming in there somewhere. Anyway, we've got 2.33 to go here in this second quarter. Here in this KSR game of the week. It's nice to see stands here on the Jackson County side completely full. Here we go. Ward's going to hand it off over here around the right side, but nothing happening there is that Shawnee defense up for the occasion. That was a nice stop over there. Summers is really... Really, I believe that was Jacob Summers there. He's really kind of made his presence known. He's the only reason that Shawnee's gained points on the board and feel like that every time that the Generals did have a fumble that he's been right there in it. So, I mean, he's been a complete diff difference maker for Shawnee at this point. So, it will be second and ten on no gain, under two minutes to go in the half. And now again, another handoff. And again, if you cue Jacob Summers, big stop. And a loss. I think both these teams would be happy just to go into the locker room and get a break. Yeah, and one thing too, you know, if, if your coach size more here and kind of looks like Shawnee with only that one timeout, I really don't know if you really want to try to get in a hurry right here. Let's go into the locker room with the lead. Let's kind of maybe try to run this out and kind of, you know, lick our wounds and let's get ready to see if we can get start off with a better, better second half. So it's third and 17. The Generals have it at their own 36-yard line in the shotgun. And here we go on the handoff, going around the left side. And good pickup, but well short of the first down. And with a minute to go in the half, John E's going to get the ball back. 
Clemens on the carry. Picked up a four there by Clemens. Gain of four on the play, fourth and 13. I believe if you're Coach Sizemore too here, you maybe run this all the way down, maybe see if you can try and do a hard count, get a jump, something like that. And if you got, you got the timeout to burn, yeah. so you might as well. As Jackson County just wasting as much time as they can, and then they kick the timeout. That'll stop the clock here with 25.9 seconds to go. So the Generals are going to hit the road here for several games. And I'm, I'm really interested to see how they fare as, of course, you look at their schedule coming up after tonight's game with Shawnee. They, had, they play Lynn Camp, then they go to Berea, and then they play Jenkins all on the road before coming home in the first weekend of October to play Clinton County. This is, a, this is a team that is going to be well-tested from that long time away from their home confines. Yeah, and, and one thing, too, Mick, you know, those are – feel like those are all very winnable games. If you're if you're a general fan, um, Berea, that's kind of the Battle of Big Hill. Uh, that's something that Jackson County and Berea do every year. Uh, Berea's been a pretty dominant in that rivalry in the past few years. So, you know, that's one thing that Coach Sizemore and these general players are really after is maybe trying to bring that Battle of Big Hill trophy back home to Jackson County. And, of course, you know, after they play Clinton uh, County, they go on the road down to Tennessee. They're going to be playing Jellico. That's going to be interesting. Yeah, Jellico is um, just kind of it's right across the, the border of Williamsburg. So it's not that long of a drive as it might seem for, for some of those listening at home for the generals, maybe about a two-hour bus ride. So it's going to be fourth and 13. Here for Jackson County. And they're going to go for it. And it's going to be handed off over here on the right side. And it's going to be close, but it's going to be short. Really nice run there by Wilson, too. Yep. We have not talked much about Ethan Wilson tonight. He, he was the workhorse the in, when the Generals were here at home team, against Ethan Knott Wilson. County. But, this t but tonight they have not utilized him very much. No, and I think one thing, too, um, you know, kind of talking to Coach Sizemore earlier, earlier today before the game, one thing that they're really trying to do, too, is you want to win every game, but they really don't want to wear Wilson down. They really want to try and share that workload, workload a little better than they did. Uh, you know, in the previous weeks, kind of really been working him a lot and running down. And you can kind of see there, too, he's already starting to cramp a little bit. And that's one thing that Coach Sizemore was trying to avoid so he could have him late in the fourth quarter. So it's a turnover on downs, and it'll be first and ten for the Golden Eagles as turnover they will have the ball at their own 49-yard line. Eagles. It's time for maybe two, if you're careful, three plays. Yeah, and one thing, too, they had that timeout as well. And, you know, their quarterback, Henderson, he's really been able to prove that he can sling it, and he's got the arm for it. So if you're the generals right here, you really may want to contain bend, don't break situation. Well, we will see what they dial up here, what Vernon Gibson will dial up here as Shawnee takes a timeout. 16 mm -hmm. seconds to go. Well, the again, the second time these two teams have played, and I got to tell you, it's you can't help but uh, see how entertaining it's been here for both teams, really, as they've made a big deal out of this game. And, of course, for both schools, being not necessarily the biggest schools in their area, it's really nice to see all this attention being drawn, not only to the, uh, the Eagles out in Louisville, but here for in the mountains for Jackson County, especially a school that is not really – they're basically an independent. Yeah, and, you know, this is uh – you know, partner, one thing that I can really can feel like we all can adjust to is this is one of the biggest football crowds I've seen here in a long time. I uh, really have not had a crowd like this, and I couldn't tell you how long, maybe before we first started getting generals football. And something you really like to see is everyone in the community kind of coming out and being together and, and cheering on uh, these great student athletes. So first and 10 here for the Golden Eagles. They have it at their own 49-yard line, 15.9 seconds to go. We'll see if they decide to try and air it out. First and 10, Shawnee. So we've got twins on each side. And now we've Play got a whistle. And 
12 men on the field. I think you're right. I think there's too many men. Uh, it's going to be against. I thought it was, was the Eagles. Yep. Going off the way the the ref threw that flag, I thought it was against the Generals. Twelve men on the field. Nope. Five yard penalty. And one thing too, I think if you're here, if you're Coach Sizemore, you First really, really want to drop everyone back. Maybe burn timeout. Seems like there's a lot of confusion from our middle linebacker Aiden Collins right now. Here we go, empty backfield. It's going to be pulled down and run. Here we go. All the way down inside the 40, near the 30 yard line. We'll see where they spot this ball. But Carolina that stops the Forrest clock. The As Forrest was the ball carrier, and they're going to spot the ball near the 30. Let's we'll see where they spot that ball. Looks like at the 31. And they've got to get that snap off. Now they just get it off. Well, they got a whistle instead. Flag on the play. Well, we got a flag false on the play, so false the start against the Eagles. So, can you? I, I think there was point. It was point nine when the whistle went. So maybe I think if you one, I seen the ref maybe hold up the one second. Yeah, I mean, it was point yeah. nine, but yeah. we'll give one second. You can round it off. That's just yeah. fine. It's not that big of a difference. And I think they wanted to put one second on the clock. Referee right now over talking on the Shawnee sideline with Vernon Gibson. And here we go. Last play of the opening half, barring a penalty. They're going to air it out in towards the end zone, and it is caught. 31-yard touchdown bomb, and John E. regains the lead. Oh, my goodness. Jeremiah Forrest pass is complete for a touchdown, Sean E. So a huge completion, 31 yards, and Shawnee takes the lead, 14-12, with the conversion mm -hmm. attempt still to come. And that's the one thing you really wanted to avoid if you were Coach Sizemore and the Generals because Shawnee does get the ball to start the second half as well. Golden Eagles up it only seems appropriate conversion. considering how sloppy this first yeah. half has been played. And that one, well, I tell you, it, it was good. Is good and and it's halftime here forward. at Jackson County High School. County and players. the Generals now Shawnee trail 16. Shawnee by a score of 16 to 12. This is PRTC TV. Flat Lake Falls Scenic and Recreational Area, located in Great Hawk, Kentucky. Enjoying the natural beauty of the falls and the relaxing sounds of the water crashing into the pristine pool below are a great way to spend an evening. With paved trails to the overlook, the park and the view of the falls are accessible to all who want to enjoy it. The hiking trails are well marked, making navigation a breeze heading down to the bottom. There you're able to enjoy the natural rock formation, good clean trails, and all that nature has to offer. The park is well kept with a large pavilion, shower house, and clean restaurant. With acres of land to run on, hiking trails, the cool, clean water to swim in, and a basketball court, kids of all ages can spend the day and enjoy themselves. Flat Lake Falls are one of the many treasures that Jackson County, Kentucky has to offer, and I would highly recommend it for a nice budget. Yes, we're all quite over staying home right now. But we can make it better by streaming the great shows and movies we've been wanting to see. PRTC can help. With fast, reliable internet speeds up to one gig, enhanced by reliable Wi-Fi, 
Stream all you want, no matter how many gadgets are going at once. And with our new Gigaspire Blast, you'll enjoy the ultimate Wi-Fi experience everywhere in your home. Contact PRTC to sign up or upgrade today. If your outdoor projects call for digging, you need the right tools, including one of these. It's never been more important to call 811 or visit call811.com to locate underground utilities before you dig. Essential connections to your home are just below the surface and can be easily cut. So use one of these tools to call or go online and know what's below. This message provided as a public service by your friends at PRTC. Did you hear about the wireless plan with no credit check? No contracts, but tons of great features. It's forward pay with Appalachian Wireless. Deals start as low as $19.99 per month for unlimited talk and text and no long-term commitment. Use your own device or ask about deals on the latest and greatest devices. Some as much as $250 off. Forward pay on the region's best network. Because we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. The AppalachianWireless.com for terms and conditions. Today, reliable internet is crucial for everyone to thrive. PRTC gets it. And we want you to know if you are currently enrolled in the Affordable Connectivity Program or Lifeline to help with your PRTC bill. You will lose these important benefits if you sign up for a government-funded cell phone plan. Protect your ACP or Lifeline benefit. Contact PRTC to learn more. We understand an upside-down world, but they're writing us off before we get to the starting line. A stalled generation? Who do you think is going to fix all this? We will, because our future is the future. So we're going to build bridges and hospitals in a day and feed those left in the cold. We're going to do all this and more because we have an appointment with destiny. So, what are we doing here? Well, just a trim. Maybe kind of a layered look. <laughs> Will you read the sign? How about some real choice? Uh, 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 like the choices you get with IPTV, new from PRTC. Enjoy free HD and new features like on-screen caller ID. Plus, record four programs at once with our HD DVR. PRTC, it's all about you. To crank it up yeah, yeah. and rock it out. We took you backstage and we made you laugh out loud. We brought you great stories <laughs> and a front row seat to some of country music's biggest stages. But trust us, y'all ain't seen nothing yet. That's an avalanche of awesome. This is a Circle Network and we are just getting started. Most of us are in touch with the internet in one way or another, all day long. A fast, secure connection matters. It keeps us entertained, informed, in touch. PRTC cares about your connection. We know strong, reliable internet with Gigaspire whole home Wi-Fi makes life better. If you need an upgrade or just have a question, get in touch. Call or visit PRTC online today. A bundle from PRTC is your local choice for internet, TV, and phone at a better value. Our internet's faster than ever with consistent, affordable speeds no matter how many devices are online. State-of-the-art TV connections deliver more HD choices, convenient DVR options, and now TV everywhere. And unlimited local calling with new long-distance plans backed by exceptional 24-hour customer service. Make the local choice for a better value. Call or visit PRTC online today. As a U.S. veteran, imagine getting the care you need without driving all the way to Lexington. At the Virtual Living Room in McKee, you'll have access to VA doctors who can prescribe medications through an easy-to-use computer set up in a private, comfortable environment inside the Jackson County Public Library. Schedule an appointment through your VA doctor today. Gigabit broadband internet service for the Virtual Living Room is provided by PRTC. Not enough power? It's not okay. Weak Wi-Fi? Also not okay. These days, your home's got Wi-Fi connected gadgets and devices here, there, 
everywhere, and they all use more and more Wi-Fi. Until, luckily, an easy upgrade to PRTC fast, reliable internet with Gigaspire whole home Wi-Fi makes it all okay. Call or visit PRTC online for a great upgrade offer today. Fiber-powered internet from PRTC is fast, crazy fast. Experience crazy fast internet speeds from PRTC with reliable downloads up to one gig. Now you can surf, stream, game, chill with speed to spare. And with our new Gigaspire Blast, you'll enjoy the ultimate Wi-Fi experience everywhere in your home. Accelerate your internet. Contact PRTC to sign up or upgrade your internet today. There are lots of small reasons to have home phone service. And one very big one. 911 emergency location. Only a call from your home phone instantly transmits your address to emergency personnel. Cell phones can't. 911, what's your emergency? If trouble comes to your home, seconds count. PRTC Home Phone helps first responders do their job. It's a small price to pay for what you can save. Located in the Jackson County Regional Industrial Park in Anvil, Kentucky, the Jackson County McKee Industrial Development Authority helps companies and communities win. It is and always will be our mission to recruit new business and industry and support the people in our region. We want the people and industry to stay in Jackson County and here's why. We offer workforce information and training, business planning for new and existing businesses, the fastest broadband in Kentucky, state-of-the-art facilities, and financial assistance and tax incentives. All of this with a rich culture of communities that care. We were just announced as a certified work ready in progress area. What does this mean for Jackson County? It means that we're ready to go to work with a diverse, skilled, and dedicated workforce. We now have a prime 22-acre construction ready location just off the newly constructed Highway 30 and only 18 miles from I-75. Close enough, yet far enough. We're Kentucky's advanced manufacturing hub. Did you hear about the wireless plan with no credit check? No contracts, but tons of great features. It's forward pay with Appalachian Wireless. Deals start as low as $19.99 per month for unlimited talk and text and no long-term commitment. Use your own device or ask about deals on the latest and greatest devices. Some as much as $250 off. Forward pay on the region's best network. Because we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. The AppalachianWireless.com for terms and conditions. Halftime here at Jackson County High School is right now they are honoring the 2013 Jackson County Generals. Coach Sharp, of course, the man who led them. And well, these young men, uh, they had a winning record back then. And they had a great team back then. And so it's uh, nice to see them come back. A lot of these guys coming back and uh, being Let's recognized by the Jackson high school County, to the let balls. them know that their efforts were appreciated. And of course, it's always good to come back General. and to your alma mater and just get, get stoked about seeing these kids that are back here. And you know, you remember when you were a kid. So it is what it is. So anyway, I tell you what, it's always good to see that. Of course, we still got a second half yet to be played. And well, right now, the adjustments, I have to think that uh, Vernon Gibson's got to be happy with his team coming back after going behind right out of the chute. But uh, on the other side, Nick Sizemore's got to be peeling a little bit of paint in that locker room for Jackson County. But again, that's why you make adjustments at halftime, and we will see what these two teams do as there were a lot of turnovers, a lot of penalties, and we're going to see what happens here next when these two teams get back to do battle here in quarter number three. Shawnee is going to get the ball to start the third quarter when we come back, but right now they lead Jackson County by a score of 16 to 12. This is PRTC TV. This is TV. This is TV set free. TV everywhere from PRTC TV sets you free to watch what you want, where you want. Catch your favorite networks, including live TV, ready to watch on any web-connected device for no extra charge. That's TV set free. Enjoy the extra value of PRTC TV everywhere. Visit prtcnet.org and sign up today. 
There are so many great things about life in gig country, and PRTC is proud to be one more. A local internet provider with all the speed and reliability your family needs, backed by hometown service and support. Whether you need to just check email or power multiple Wi-Fi devices all over your home, we've got the right package for you. Stop by one of our friendly offices, give us a call, or visit us online to learn more. PRTC, your local internet connection. Video gaming is a great way for families to have fun together. And PRTC's reliable internet and Wi-Fi is a game changer. Super fast download and upload speeds up to one. Video gaming is a great way for families to have fun together. And PRTC's reliable internet and Wi-Fi is a game changer. Super fast download and upload speeds up to one gig. And Gigaspire whole home Wi-Fi. Power today's most exciting games on consoles, handhelds, even VR headsets with no lag or buffering. Contact PRTC and level up the game-changing internet and whole home Wi-Fi today. Yes, we're all quite over staying home right now, but we can make it better by streaming the great shows and movies we've been wanting to see. PRTC can help. With fast, reliable internet speeds up to one gig, enhanced by reliable Wi-Fi. Stream all you want, no matter how many gadgets are going at once. And with our new Gigaspire Blast, you'll enjoy the ultimate Wi-Fi experience everywhere in your home. Contact PRTC to sign up or upgrade today. If your outdoor projects call for digging, you need the right tools, including one of these. It's never been more important to call 811 or visit call811.com to locate underground utilities before you dig. Essential connections to your home are just below the surface and can be easily cut. So use one of these tools to call or go online and know what's below. This message provided as a public service by your friends at PRTC. Did you hear about the wireless plan with no credit check? No contracts, but tons of great features. It's forward pay with Appalachian Wireless. Deals start as low as $19.99 per month for unlimited talk and text and no long-term commitment. Use your own device or ask about deals on the latest and greatest devices. Some as much as $250 off. Forward pay on the region's best network. Because we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. See AppalachianWireless.com for terms and conditions. Today, reliable internet is crucial for everyone to thrive. PRTC gets it. And we want you to know if you are currently enrolled in the Affordable Connectivity Program or Lifeline to help with your PRTC bill. You will lose these important benefits if you sign up for a government-funded cell phone plan. Protect your ACP or Lifeline benefit. Contact PRTC to learn more. We understand an upside-down world, but they're writing us off before we get to the starting line. A stalled generation? Who do you think is gonna fix all this? We will, because our future is the future. So we're going to build bridges and hospitals in a day and feed those left in the cold. We're going to do all this and more because we have an appointment with destiny. So, what are we doing here? Well, just a trim. Maybe kind of a layered look. <laughs> Will you read the sign? How about some real choice? Uh, uh, like the choices you get with IPTV, new from PRTC. Enjoy free HD and new features like on-screen caller ID. Plus, record four programs at once with our HD DVR. PRTC, it's all about you. Jackson County High School is the scene as we're getting ready to start the third quarter. You got Mick, you've got Hunter, and well, Hunter, uh, boy, we got a lot to pick apart here in in this uh, halftime here. Looking at the stats, it was not pretty. No, no, it was not. And we'll kind of jump right into the stats. We'll start with the individual. Um, start on the Jackson County side of it. You had uh, number three Ashton Clemens with four rushes, eight yards, and one fumble. You had Ethan Wilson with four rushes for 23 yards. And then number four, Jaden Level with four rushes for 28 yards. There were no passing yards for the Generals on the first half. Then if you flip over to the Shawnee side on the rushing side, you had number 13, 
uh, Jeremiah Forrest with uh, one rush for 18 yards. Number seven, John Barty with four rushes for 13 yards. Then you had uh, number three, uh, Jerome Henderson with three rushes for three yards. Um, and then if you go to the passing side of it, uh, you had Jerome Forrest who was one of four for 31 yards on the touchdown, had that really big play to end this, uh, the first half. And then you had number three, Jerome Henderson with, uh, he was five of nine for 22 yards and interceptions. Then if you go to the defensive side of it, you had um, uh, several tackles uh, for the Shawnee side. The one that, the one player that really stuck out to me on the defensive side, Mick, was number four, Jacob Summers. He had over he had four tackles, uh, several of those for loss, and he also had um, three fumble recoveries and one of those being for a touchdown. Yeah, I mean, that, and that is the big glaring number if you're Jackson County is the big the turnovers. And that really hurts. And now, of course, you have to make adjustments. And the, and Shawnee's going to start with the ball to start the second half. So you know that you've got to set the precedent here because you, your defense, if you're Jackson County, has spent most of the football game on the field. And so it's going to wear and tear it come fourth quarter time. Yeah, and, and you know that's something really you'd really like to see the – See the juniors maybe see if they could force their way into a three and out right here. That would be something that we would really like to see if, if, we, if you're a juniors fan. Um, you know, but honestly, positively, besides those two big plays for Shawnee, the, the scoop and score for the touchdown, and then the uh, the pass, the, the touchdown pass there to end, end the game. And so, you know, that's something, you know, that you've got to tip your hat to if you're the juniors. And, and honestly, Mick, I feel like you and I can both agree that it could have been a lot worse. You know, you're only down one score here, and it could be a lot worse when you have four turnovers in the first half, you know. You really, at this point, I would even maybe even consider yourself lucky to be only down four points. And if you're Coach Sizemore in the locker room, that's probably what he's telling his guys as well, that, you know, you're, you're lucky. As bad as you've played, you're only down one score. Yep. And, you know, that's really one thing, you know, if your offense, you've really got to find something to get those snaps together, everything like that, this way that you can get some time to keep your defense off the field because that's been the killer so far is that your defense has just stayed on the field and stayed, you know, they're gassed, they're very tired. So, you know, right now if you're the generals, you'd really like to maybe even see, I could see Coach Sizemore coming out here with, that, with an onside kick special, trying to get the offense the ball right quick, kind of set the tone, see if they can maybe take some of that momentum back that all that Shawnee has taken. Well, the only thing, the wild card in all of this for me is the passing game of Shawnee. Will they be able to uh, air it out again? Because we saw what they did on the last play of the opening half. And uh, they've got the ability to stretch that Jackson County defense by throwing the ball. Um, it's not that Jackson County can't do the same. It's just that they have not done it as often. So we'll see what happens here as the generals will kick off to start this third quarter. So it's been, a, again, uh, a beautiful night. Been a lot of fun watching these two teams. Uh, you can see the intensity, even though it's a sloppy game, you can still see the intensity on both sides as they both want to win this. Anytime you, never mind a cross-town rivalry, you're talking cross-state rivalry. Yeah, and, and you know, like we said, this you can tell that this is a game that means a lot to, to both these teams, you know, right now in the head-to-head -head contest uh, that these games have played, it's a it's one-to-one, -one, so you really like to see someone be able to come out with an advantage. And you called it. It was an onside kick, but it was quickly recovered by the Golden Eagles. And, you know, really, if you're the Eagles there, you're really kind of fortunate that, that number eight there, uh, Dwayne Smith, was able to recover that because Titus Summers was all over that ball. Uh, you know, really nice Andre kick there. Just would like to see it a little, little higher there. So it'll be first and ten here for Shawnee. They will have it in good field position. Is they will have it at their own 48 yard line. First and ten, Golden Eagles. Ball on the left hash. Shawnee in their white uniforms, their gold numbers and trim. And of course, Jackson County with the red jerseys and pants with the. Blue numbers with white trim. Flag on the play. And right out of the chute. False start by Got the a false offense. start here five by Shawnee. So it'll knock it back five yards to the 38 yard line. It'll, it'll be first and 15. Down. 15 to go for the Eagles. So, well, that's a good start if you're Jackson County. Yeah. 
So first and 15 here for Shawnee. In the shotgun. There's the snap, the ball's handed off over on the left side. And nothing there. Little if any, maybe a yard. We'll see where they mark it. And I believe that may have been Summers with the ball. I believe I had it with was Ware. Ware? Okay. So Ware was the ball carrier and he picks up Winner looks like runs. about a yard. And Aiden Coffey in on the tackle. So we're, we're going to give him two, so it'll be second and 13. Ball at the 45 yard line of Shawnee. Again, another nice run up the gut, but it's going to be driven back. Might have gotten to the original line of scrimmage, maybe even an extra yard. But it's going to make it third down here. It looks like it's going to be about third and nine. Well, no, they're going to spot it at the 48, so it'll be third and ten. And one thing, too, Mick, that we kind of didn't talk about at halftime, but you'd really like to see Coach Sizemore's defense do is do a little better job at wrapping up. It really feels like that, you know, Shawnee's got nowhere to go, and then they make one man miss, and they turn uh, nothing into something. Opening couple of minutes here of this second half. Jackson County trailing 16-12. Shawnee, though, third and 10, and we've got a whistle. Another false start. And, well... If you're going to be on the field, if you're Jackson County, you're going to be on the field. This is what you want. False start against the offense. As this, right now, Shawnee not helping themselves. Five-yard penalty remains third down. So it'll be third and 15. Third and 15, Eagles. Let's take it back to the 44-yard line of Shawnee. Right now, Shawnee just taking their time. Yeah, and you know, one thing too here, if you're the generals, really kind of expect maybe either that deep shot or the, maybe kind of that check down to the flat. That really seems like that what Shawnee's has been bread, or bread and butter right now. Uh, kind of interesting to see, you know, that contain, the bend don't break method right here for the generals. And they're going to air it out over the right side, and it goes incomplete. So a long three and out, but a three and out nonetheless here for the Generals to start the second half. Knocked down yeah. by number 62, Aiden Collins. Yeah, you know, Collins, I really, you know, really nice kind of recap it there and get that deflection, get, 15, get off the field right here, and that's a great start there for the Generals. Like you said, you couldn't ask for a better. One thing, though, I feel like the Generals do need to watch out here. We've had some pretty, uh, some poor punts from the Shawnee punter tonight. So you really want to make sure if you're a general right here to get out of the way if it's if it's kind of a dud like it was it's been the previous times. Yeah, you don't want that ball to hit you and be a free ball. Low snap, they have trouble. So he's got to pull it down and run with it, and he's gonna be tackled. So it'll be well, let's see what the Good deal. The flag is all about here, and as soon as we figure that out, it should be a turnover on downs, though. So I think there was two flags there on Shawnee. You had one block in the back there by Summers, and then another one looked like holding. But, you know, like, luckily, though, the generals were able to pounce on that ball and were able to, to get it. Now you've got great field position, so let's see what can happen here. Be first and ten here for the generals in Turnover Shawnee downs. territory as they'll have it at the over. Shawnee 38-yard line. 9.34 to go here in this third quarter. So now it's up to the Generals to work on a, on a nice drive here. If they can just keep possession of the ball without turning it over. We'll see what happens here. And we've got movement already on the line. So Nice. Nice. Good, be, good start there for the Generals. And I don't know what happened, but. Shawnee now has had uh, how many penalties here in this third quarter? That, that I've got them there in county, county two, uh, the two special team penalties. That is their fourth penalty of you know of this very early going second I mean, half. It's their first, their first possession, and 
the Generals haven't even had a, haven't uh, run a play yet. And you'd really like to maybe see the Generals just kind of get that snap exchange lined out. Here you go, that's much better. Here's the handoff on the right side. Level trying to fight his way through and it's gonna be close to a first down. Jaden Level on the carry. We'll see where they spot that ball, but it looks like he's got more than enough for a first down here. So it's first and 10 for the Generals, just what the doctor ordered. And that gain is good for a first down, Generals. So the clock will continue to run here. Generals driving, so they'll have the ball. First and 10 at the Golden Eagles 27. Here's the handoff again, fighting nice through, tackle. but a good defensive play there by the Eagle defense. Level on the carry. His level was just dropped after about a yard, maybe. <laughs> That'll make it second down here. Gain of one on the play. It'll be at the 26. Second and nine. And one thing, too, Mick, I really feel like if the juniors are going to have a chance at this game, that, that Ward is going to have to make a play with his arm at some point in time because, I mean, it really feels like that, that the Eagles are really just – they're putting eight in the box right now and begging begging the Generals to throw it. I really feel like, you know, for them to have any success, at some point in time they're going to have to trust – put some trust into that old line and be able to have Ward be able to air it out. Well, it's third and nine after no gain on that run. And, yeah, you're right. I mean – that's, they were able, when they were at home against Knott County, they were able to spread things out. And they didn't have to be long passes. They were intermediate. And here we go. Here's another one. And it's complete. Now it's going to depend on where the spot is. I believe it's going to be short, but it's a much more fourth and manageable. Indeed. Pass complete. So it will be fourth down here Number for the Generals, and they're going to be they're going to be going for it. They're gonna, it's going to be fourth down at the 21 yard line. They need four yards. It's a long four, four right here. Well, here we go. Fourth down for Jackson County. Handoff going around the left side. It's going to be a first down, turning up field and on nice. the sideline. And wow, really nice play there by Clemson. You know, props to Coach Eisenhower and his staff there on that play design. Really kind of, you know, I thought Ward did a great job with that naked bootleg, kind of deciding that, drawing all of Shawnee's defenders to his side and ditching it off to Clemens to be able to get the first, first down. down so it looks like it's first and goal here for the. Jackson County Generals, and I believe they are at the, is that the five? I can't, four, the four or the five, I can't. They're, we're at an odd angle Maybe the, the six, I think they're at six. The six yard line. Okay, there you go. So from the six yard line, first and goal, and another faulted snap. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. The, the fifth play. turnover of the ball game. Recovered by Shawnee. And that's the difference right now. That's the reason that Jackson County right now is behind. Is yeah. these mistakes and then the penalties that didn't help. But yeah. right now, now they've got their defense has to stand up tall. Yep. And one thing too, you know, the if you want to make the, the best out of a bad situation here, they are, they are pinned very deep in their own territory. Maybe if you you know the the defense of the generals maybe turn up a blitz here, go all out. Well, you got twins wide out to the left here for the Golden Eagles. Here's the snap. Here's the handoff. And you asked for it, you got it. Good defensive stand there by the generals. Tackled by number 71, Blake Atkins. Atkins in on the stop there for Assisted the Generals with the huge uh, Atkins uh, contingent here. Yeah. In the stands. But kind of second a loss. and 12. 
yeah, you know, just keep pinning them back there. You know, maybe maybe this is the point in time where you, if you're a Generals fan, that you, you pin your ears back and, and you just go for it. You know, maybe you might give up a big play, but hopefully you'll be able to uh, be able to get that stop. You got a guy open over here that Sean East got that there's nobody covering him. And, well, it worked out to their advantage because they were trying to run it. And safety. Do we have a safety? safety? It is a safety. They tackle him in the end zone. The so the Eagles the could not get safety. that play off the ground, and they're tackled in the end zone. So it's two points here for the Generals. My goodness. And the football. Yep, so with 6.14 to go here in the third, it's 16-14 with the Generals getting the ball. Nice there by, play there by Atkins. And he, and you know, he's one of those kids as well that is really, he is he is stuck with this Generals program. He's played as long as, as long as I can remember, you know, even as a freshman, things like that. So, you know, he's one of those kids, you know, really glad to see that success with, you know, all the adversity and everything they've had to go through. You know, and we've talked about the differences between these two teams as far as, you know, uh, somebody from the city versus somebody from the mountains here. Uh, you know, but the one thing that both these teams do uh, have similar similarities in is the fact that they are small schools, is the fact that they're trying to grow their programs to make them uh, much more uh, formidable uh, so that they can compete at higher levels. And that's what you want, and uh, that you got to grow these programs so get those little kids playing football so that they will turn into future Golden Eagles and future generals here down the road. Yeah, yeah and, and one thing, too, here, you know, with this. And we apologize there for a little glitch in the audio. Here's the squib kick as they'll fall right on it. And it's instant field position for the Generals as they'll have it first and 10 deep in Golden Eagle territory. It'll be, let's see where they spot that ball. Looks like around the 37 yard line of Shawnee. So first and 10 around the 37 yard line for Jackson County to start this drive. Smart and looks like too that we've had a, uh, a quarterback change in here for the generals. Number 23, Braxton Clemens will be coming in and be taking snaps for the generals now. Clemens, a 5'10 junior, will line up there in the pivot position. First and 10, Jackson County. And again, here we go. And again, we apologize there for the audio difficulties there, but that one uh, was a again a fumble. But this time they didn't lose it. So yeah, thankfully they were able to, to kind of stop that one right away. So it's second down and eleven after that loss of a yard. Here's the snap. This time they hit the line, but. Not much in the way of yardage, so it will make it third down and long. As it looks like it's going to be probably back to the original line of scrimmage at best. So it'll be third down, and let's see where they spot that ball. The spot at the 38-yard line, so it was no gain. So here we go, third and 11. No gain on the play, third and 11. Under five minutes to go here in this third quarter. The only points scored so far here in the second half was a safety by Jackson County. Sure 
And I think we're going to have a delay of game. Yep. So delay a game penalty here against Jackson delay County. So that knocks it back five yards. That'll make it third and 16. This is a game right now. I don't know about you, Hunter, but this is a game that it's telling you, it's like, who wants to win this thing? Yep. And, and you know, it really seems like two. The moment where we're at right now, I feel like at any given, it seems like on both sides, we're really just waiting for that one play. And, and on either side, you know, really for the – for the for one team to really be able to take that momentum, so we'll see. Kind of seems like too that uh, Coach Sizemore's kind of went through a. He's really doing a different kind of subs and quarterbacks out here. Well, here we go. They're going to air it out on the right side. He's got a receiver. It's complete. Oh, In and out of his hands. I thought he had it. Oh my goodness. That was, I mean, props there just to the Shawnee defender there. I can't really see who it was, but got a fingertip. Got a fingertip in there just at the end. Thanks, big shout out to Mark Solfridge for helping us see that one. As you see right there, oh, so close. So close, but it was fourth down and 16. So with four and a half to go here in this quarter, will they punt or will they go for it? Looking like the generals are going to be going Fourth for it. Down generals. Well, here we go. Fourth and 16. And Jackson County is going to go for it. High snap. Clemens going to throw it out again on the left side. Jump ball. He's they got it. Are you kidding me? What a play. What a grab. First down, Jackson County. From the 43-yard line all the way down inside the 20. And that completion is good for a first down, Generals. Let's see where they spot that football. So it looks like it's right, right outside the 20 yard line. And this time they hand the ball off. Level, level will be moving the ball. And this is what you want if you're Jackson County, as far as being able to run that football, you're, get, get your, uh, your buffet boys up front to get out there and, uh, and start getting after it and creating holes. And you know, really feel like too that you're that Jackson County's really starting to maybe get that slowly getting that momentum back. Uh, one thing you really want, would like to avoid here if you're a Generals fan is you know maybe another one of those turnovers that we had earlier. But one thing I think adjustment I've liked, Nick, is that we went to the shotgun. Here you go, and here's the handoff over on the right side. And That's coming back. Yep. Let's see Flat all the the, the flag on the carpet here is going to be. I believe uh, I. Thought it was a block in the back there by Clemens. Well, let's wait for what Willie Rogers has to say here. And it is coming back. Signal to hold. So it's a spot foul, so that takes it back. Right here to the 20, is that 24 yard line? I believe so, yes. So second and 14. Jackson County knocking on the door. Here's a pass to the end zone again. A long pass. It does not go. And thankfully for Jackson County, that was incomplete because that should have been picked off. Yeah. Yeah, it was just a little underthrown there by Clemens. Right idea, but. My goodness. So that makes it third down, 14 clock stops with 3.04 left to go here in the third quarter. My, oh, my. One thing, too, I feel like if you're, if you're Coach Sizemore here, 
I feel like you've got two plays to get these 14 yards as well. You do. Here we go. I'm going to try and air. Well, I thought, here we go. Right over the middle. So close. Got some fans yelling they wanted to see a flag, but nope. No. And if you're Markham there, you really need to be able to come come down with that when you got two hands on it. They really just the defender had the right idea that waited for you to get two hands right for him to get two hands on the ball. So with just under three minutes to go, it's fourth down, fourteen. So they need to get it down to the ten yard line. And we've got a timeout on the field. 2.59 left to go here in the third. And right now we got ourselves a two-point ball game. You ready? You're yeah. going to love this. To crank it up yeah, yeah. and rock it out. We took you backstage and we made you laugh out loud. We brought you great stories <laughs> and a front row seat to some of country music's biggest stages. But trust us. Y'all ain't seen nothing yet. That's an avalanche of awesome. This is a circle network, and we are just getting started. <sighs> My goodness, everyone on pins and needles here because this is not a, there's no gimmies here in football. There never is, but especially in this game when you've had as much sloppy play and everything by both teams, to be honest. Both teams have not played their best games of the year by far. But because the it, it leads to a game that is still in doubt, and so that makes people nervous. And that's, a, if, you know, the fans in the stands are all kind of on edge. Mm -hmm. But for me, that's what makes fun football. Oh, yeah. And like we said, you know, this really, really feel like, you know, it's one of those at any given. It could go either way. Anyway, I mean, we are, we are really just waiting for, for that one big play on either side, whether it's going to be the defensive side for, for either team or the offensive, you know, really – Who's going to be able to get that knock at that knockout punch? And at this point, I really feel like it's whoever has the ball last is is going to be in the, the best position to win this game. Here we go, third down in, or fourth down and fourteen. I'm sorry. The trickery. Yep, they're going to air it out over the middle, and it does not go. So a turnover on downs from Jackson County, and again, they loot. They they drive the ball into the red zone, but come up empty-handed. So it'll be first and 10 here Turn at the 24 and 10, Shawnee. for Shawnee mm -hmm. with 2.53 to go here in the third quarter. My, oh, my. You know, Nick, one thing, though, I feel like the plus side that's been to this is, you know, the generals have been in the red zone twice and not been able to come, come away with any points. But if you want to. Try to make up something out of nothing here with the positive is your defense has been able to rest for quite a bit of time. They've had a lot of time over here on the sidelines. And last time they were on the field, they were to dial up that pressure. Well, here we go. First mm. and 10 from their own 24, the Golden Eagles. Full backfield. Here's the handoff. And you can tell right now that that Jackson County defense, they're a little bit, they're a little tired. You see a yeah. couple players Back with hands on hips. Yeah. But again, they know they've got to come up with a stop here. Pick up a four, second and six. The ball at the 28 yard line. snap count everyone kind of I don't know if they're changing the play but oh man that time clock should have ran out but again another run on the right side it's gonna be enough for a first down and then some put the flag down well we'll see what that's about nice so flag on the play Looks like that'll be coming back. So a break for the generals here. As that was a nice run, but it's going to be for not. Mm. 
one thing too, Mick, right here, you'd really like to see, you know, with the generals. Uh, you know, I feel like they've done a very good job in the second half with the pass protection, but it seems like that Shawnee's been able to get that first step a lot on the run game so far in this second half. Second and 16, Shawnee. Well, the other break for the generals right now on defense is the fact that Shawnee has committed a number of penalties here with the ball. Second and 16. Again, they go up the gut. So back near the line, original line of scrimmage. Uh, to make it third down. Number 60, Nick Hayes. As we head into the final 70 seconds here of this third quarter. Right now, this game very much up for grabs. Yeah, like we said, Mick, really kind of feel like on both sides, just looking to see who might be able to deliver that knockout blow. There we go, is this time around. Well, let's see, it'll be close to a first down. I believe they're gonna spot him just short. I think you're right, he's gonna be about a yard short. Tackle by number four, Jaden Level. So, this deep in your own end, do you go for it? Considering what your punting game has been? I've, you know, I've it probably, especially the way Shawnee has, has run the clock here. Of course, you know, the, the chain gang just has it as third down, but you and I, I've got it up here for fourth this down. Time out to so, measure. so they're gonna get a measurement on the field here to see how much, uh, how much space they're going to need. First down. They're going to say he has enough, so first down and 10. That gain is good for a first down Golden Wow. Eagles. I, I thought he was. I thought he was short. I by thought a, he was well short. I thought, I thought was, by a good yard. A yard, yard and a half, maybe. First and ten. That was interesting, but it's first and ten here for the Golden Eagles. Here on the keeper, and this time around, the Generals converge on what should be the final play of the third quarter. Tackled by number twenty, Gage Curtis. So it'll be second down here for Shawnee when we come back for quarter number four. Only two points scored in that third quarter by the Generals on a safety. And after three here at Jackson County High School, it is Shawnee 16, Jackson County 14. This is PRTC TV. Most of us are in touch with the internet in one way or another all day long. A fast, secure connection matters. It keeps us entertained, informed, in touch. PRTC cares about your connection. We know strong, reliable internet with Gigaspire whole home Wi-Fi makes life better. If you need an upgrade or just have a question, get in touch. Call or visit PRTC online today. A bundle from PRTC is your local choice for internet, TV, and phone at a better value. Our internet's faster than ever with consistent, affordable speeds no matter how many devices are online. State-of-the-art TV connections deliver more HD choices, convenient DVR options, and now TV everywhere. And unlimited local calling with new long-distance plans backed by exceptional 24-hour customer service. Make the local choice for a better value. Call or visit PRTC online today. And we welcome you back here to Education Mountain as well. I don't this know is why first for me. Uh, I was going to say, that I guess this is the new tradition that they want to instill here at Education Mountain. But uh, Blue Ridge Mountain a little bit yeah. far from here. So, hey, well, we've still got one more quarter of football to play. As I'll give the fans credit. They're having fun out there trying to get, they're trying to get into the spirit of things. So we've got one quarter left here, 12 minutes. And well, this is where the rubber meets the road here, Hunter, is both these teams have been playing uh, mistake-prone football 
but now they've got to buckle up, settle in, and uh, go to work. Very, very, you know, like you said, kind of been a very sloppy, very ugly, uh, ugly game on both sides uh, for both teams. You know, it's and you really, like we said, where it really seems like who's waiting to take take the momentum? Who's going to be able to do that last? Second and six here now for the Golden Eagles. They're going to run it around the right side and a slip and fall. And on a break there for the Generals. That traction, we talk about that do on the field and, well, claimed a victim there. So, takes it back to three yards. It'll be third and nine. So we'll see what happens I mean, here now. Such a good play after. As we'll see what Vernon Gibson dials up here for the Golden Eagles. Yeah. And you feel like too with Coach Gibson, the way he's ran the ball so well, he's got probably two plays here for that. And another whistle. Got timeout. Timeout here with 11:14 to go. Is it? We'll keep it right here. Is it is still a two-point ball game, and third and nine when we. Resume play. As we said, Jackson County going to hit the road for three games, and uh, well, we'll see. they won't see they won't see this field again until October first week first Friday in October. Yeah, and you know, like I said, you know, a long home stretch. But this is the kind of games that you know that you want to be in if you're a Generals fan. You know, these are a lot of games that they've not, we've not really experienced before here as a football program, these close, tight, these close, tight games like this. So, you know, really, you know, these are what your good teams do. They find a way to come out and they win this game right here. A lot of, a lot to be determined yet here. Well, here we go. Third and nine here for the uh, the Eagles. Third and nine for the Golden Eagles of Shawnee. They have it at their own 35-yard line. Here's the snap. This time they're going to toss it over on the left side. That pass is complete. Good enough for the first down and more into Jackson County territory as it'll be forced out near the 40, about 47-yard line, it looks like. But more importantly for the Golden Eagles is that they're going to move the yardsticks. Yeah, and really, you know, really like that play design there by by, by the Shawnee uh, Golden Eagles there, just because, you know, they've really been run heavy so far in this in this second half, and then kind of come with the play action pass was able to move the change. So another set of downs here for the Golden Eagles. As we've got 11 minutes and counting here. And the way these two teams have not been moving the ball that well here, time may become a factor. You talked about who has the yeah. ball left last. It's going to be on whom, how much time is left. As they go get another fumbled snap, but it's recovered or grabbed here by the Eagles. But not for much, if any. Tackled by number four, Jaden Level. So Level with the stop, they're going to say no gain. Maybe a half yard loss at best, but it looks like no gain. So second and ten. Yep, and you know, one thing too, it really feels like, you know, Level's kind of been a one man, one man wrecking crew tonight. He's all over, the, all over the field making all the plays and everything, you know. There's no quit in that young man, and that's something you really can enjoy as any kind of football fan. Well, here we go. Now they're going to again toss it out on the left side, and it's going to be close to a first down, that second effort. Man, I tell you, that's the one thing that it's been difficult for Jackson County is to tackle these these Golden Eagles, they, they give that second Tackle effort and it gets Curtis. feisty and it's going to be close to a first down. It'll be about a yard short, it looks like. So third and one. My goodness. So a big, big play here for both. Well, we got a timeout now on the field, I was going to say. Officials timeout. Yeah. 
and out on the field. So we'll see what's going on here. Is there's a well, we've got 9:19 to go here in the ball game, and I tell you, it's it's been a doozy. <laughs> it, it it has been a doozy, and you know it's really been like you said. There's just kind of kind of been a very knockout, drag out, sloppy sloppy game on both on both sides of. And like we said, you know, really feel like we're just looking for someone to be able to contribute that that knockout punch. Really don't know. Or who, who it might be or, you know, what kind of playmaker can come up. Well, we'll see what happens here. As we said, uh, the general's on the road for three. Of course, the rough part for, for, e for this year, it is Shawnee. They got, they got a long bus ride back to Louisville when they're done here. But yes, he, yes, they do. Here we go, third and a yard. And it's a first down and then some. And off to the races. Ball carrier knocked out of bounds by number 12, Titus Didn't Summers. see who had the ball there, but. But the gain is good for a first down. First and goal here My for Shawnee. Shawnee. My goodness. Big play there by the by the Golden Eagles, but unfortunately for the Generals. Looks like it's around the seven. seven. Yeah. First and goal from the seven. They go up the gut. Mm. Nothing. As it was fumbled. Recovered by the Eagles. The Eagles cover it up, so. It's pretty good. You know things are going your way when you fumble the ball and you gain a yard. Yeah. Uh, you know, one thing you really just. Gain of one one thing, play. you know, perfect scenario right here is that maybe the, you get another bad snap like that and the Jimbo's are, are able to gather it or something like that. So a second and goal here is again a short pickup but oh, another big ask here for the the generals as they are going to, be, they've got to come up with a stop. Yeah, you really need, you know, right here, if you're the generals, you really need a, a turnover on downs right here. And with that eight minutes, you know, maybe hopefully if you're the generals right here, you can get a, get these two big plays here, stop, don't let them in the end zone, and then drive down the field and put this thing away. Golden Eagles threatening here as they've got it third down and goal. From the six on the right side, the hit, the stuff, the stop. Well, now it's going to be fourth down. You know the Eagles are going to go for it. But now, what does Jackson County have in the tank? Can they put the stop? It really looks like maybe, Shawnee, you're going to get that big, that big push here. Who wants it more? We'll find out as they try to push it. I don't believe he got in. Well, let's see. They signal. they signal touchdown. So a touchdown here by the Golden Eagles. The quarterback keeper so for the touchdown. That shiny. makes it 22-14. Got it. Got to have the stop right here. Yep, because the two-point conversion makes it a two-point, a two-score game. Yep. And right now, time becoming a factor. Yep. Taking a lot of time here, and 
timeout going to be taking here. I think that might be Shawnee. Timeout on the field. And, and one thing, too, Mick, I think we both can agree is that both teams are very, very fatigued and, and tired right now. They've seems like, you know, they've given their, their heart and soul out here tonight on this team, you know, seeing all their hard work pay off that they put in this summer. And you can really see on both sides that both of these teams are very, very tired. Yep, it's going to make uh – well, I'll tell you, it's going to make for an interesting seven minutes here because we've got, we've got. Well, first off, we've got to see what happens here and what the what the uh, the cards that the generals are dealt based on this two point conversion attempt. Yeah, and you know that's that's really you know if you can stop this, it's still if you get this stop right here, it's still a one score game. So you know that's that's a positive to think of here if you're a generals fan watching at home. We'll, we'll see what happens now. Is They line things up here is my goodness, they're taking a long time to get this thing started. And here we go. Two point conversion time. There's the snap. They'll throw it over the middle and no, it's knocked away. Change. So that's all you can ask for right there yeah, yeah. From, from your defense. You know, they they've been out there a long time now. I really feel like Shawnee has dominated the time of possession. They've, they've almost had it triple the amount of time that the, that the Jack Generals have had. So we've got 7:09 left to go here, and it is a 22-14 Shawnee lead. Not enough power? It's not okay. Weak Wi-Fi? Also not okay. These days, your home's got Wi-Fi connected gadgets and devices here, there, everywhere. And they all use more and more Wi-Fi until, luckily, an easy upgrade to PRTC fast, reliable internet with Gigaspire whole home Wi-Fi makes it all okay. Call or visit PRTC online for a great upgrade offer today. Well, it's time for the Jackson County Generals to put on their hard hats and go to work as they trail by eight, 22-14 with 7.09 to go here in this ball game. And I tell you, it's, uh, it's been an interesting one, that's for sure. Yeah, you know, like I said, you know, kind of been real sloppy. I'd say, too, here, if you're Shawnee, you're, you're probably not going to kick it to level here, make someone else beat you. Well, we'll see how far they, how deep they kick it. I mean, that's the one thing I've noticed here the last couple of games. All the kickoffs have been short because they don't want to give the return men any kind of advantage, their momentum, as they go to try and bring the ball back. Wait the kick here from the Golden Eagles. And then that ball be picked up there around the 25 as they fight through nice. here. It's going nice to get tackle a there. good return by the Generals. As we'll see where they spot this ball. Summers will return. Titus Summers returns that ball out to the 40-yard line. And that is where the Jackson County Generals will scrimmage first and 10. And just as I see, oh, here we go. First and 10 here for the Generals. Another fumbled snap picked up. Return the other way back inside the 20 yard line. And you wanted to know the, uh, the play that may have hurt and been the knockout blow. If Shawnee scores here, that may be the knockout blow. And it's really disappointing yeah. because you have such a huge crowd out here tonight. And uh, really they were looking for a win. 
We've got seven minutes yeah. to go. A turnover yeah, here. The Golden the Eagles will have line. it first and ten here as they ha will scrimmage from first the Jackson County 15-yard line. Shawnee. Well, here we go. Can Shawnee capitalize? There's the snap, the handoff, and not that time as that crimson wall stood up tall. You, you know, really, by number seven one thing here too, if you're, the, if, you're the, if you're the generals, you know, there's still plenty of time left right here if you can, if you can get the ball. They need a turnover or just a, a yeah. stop because the time is going to wind down, and if you're Shawnee, you're just going to take your time and Number let that clock get line. eaten up. So second it's ten second and ten. 15. Here's the snap. Oh. What do we have here again? So third down here for the Generals. You know it's two down territory here Tackled with Shawnee. And the thing you got to be careful Assisted with is they've been Will running Rose. and running, and now you got to be careful they may air this one out. Yeah, and, and they're in a perfect perfect spot right here, too, because the way that Shawnee's moved the ball tonight, Mick, I feel like we both can agree that they got to be pretty comfortable with, with the, they've got two plays right here to pick up this first down. They've got nothing to lose going for it right here, and they're obviously not going to punt it this deep in their own territory. So this is probably, you know, trying to get two plays, try to chip away to make it a fourth and manageable. Here's the snap. They're going to throw it out again over on the left side. Incomplete. And that one does not go, but that more importantly, that stops the clock with 5.31 yep. to go. And that makes it fourth down. Pass broken up by number seven, Brandon Rosebro. So fourth down here, and Shawnee will go for it. Yeah, and one thing, too, you, if you're – if you're the Jacks County defense, you've got to got to know where the chains are right right here. You know, try to maybe even there. Obviously, this is a pass situation. You know, contain them. Well, here we go. Fourth down. And. Ball start. Yep. Time, delay game. You no know, delay game. So a delay game against Shawnee. Flag on the play. A five-yard so penalty. That will make it fourth it down and offense. twenty at the twenty-five-yard line. For the Golden Eagles. So, so again, this this is in. Jackson County's favor, but they got to come up with the stop. Yeah, you got to be able to get off the field right here. A sack would be nice. A, sa a sack would be nice or a, or a, or pick. a fumble. If Any kind of turnover. Yeah. We're not greedy. No, no. Anything to give the, give the generals a chance here. And here we go. They're going to dump it over here on the left side. Oh. And it goes incomplete. They caught, a, caught a break there. I believe it. If a, he, a number eight there, that's Smith. If he catches yeah, that, I believe he's walking lead. into the end zone. Yep. There, that was a great play design there. He just, he, he just kind of slipped over under down. his own power. So that makes it first and 10 here for Jackson County. 527 left in this one. And they've got some work to do. They've got to go 75 yards. And get the two-point conversion. And get the two-point conversion, yep. Yeah. So it looks like, too, that uh, you're going to have uh, – So yeah, and, and, and you know, really, really, and you know what made the the straw that broke the camel's back in this situation, Mick, is the, is those turnovers. You know, we've had we've had six fumbles tonight, and we've lost five of them. Yep. And to only to Shawnee's one interception. So that that's something you know that you see. That's a lot. You know, whoever wins the turnover batter nine times out of ten usually ends up winning the game. Well, Jackson County still has a chance. Twins out on each side. You've got the snap. They're going to run the ball on the outside. And, well, 
Not much. No, I, and I think too, whoever gain of three on the play. Whoever ends up having this this ball right here, right? whatever the quarter situa quarterback situation might be, I think you're going to have to start to air it out. You know that clock's ticking; it's not on your side. You've only got two timeouts here, under five to go, and they're taking a really long time in that huddle. Yeah, you you know maybe like see a little better sense of urgency right here, or you know if if you've got that much confidence that you you're going to punch it into the end zone. We'll see what they got dialed up here. So it's going to be second and seven at their own 28-yard line. There's the man in motion that was level. They're going to keep over here. Uh-oh. And it's a scramble. Keeps his balance. Can he get out of bounds? Looks like he did. And I believe, too, that was the play that the, uh, the generals used uh, the last time we covered them against Knott County that scored the touchdown at the end of the half with a little trickery there. So it's... A little confusion there. I thought that the clock should have stopped. Well, we got coming up on four minutes to go. Here's the snap. Dart over the right side is complete. They're going to push him back. And it's going to be a short gain. Jackson County's got to start moving. 345 and counting. They are not moving with any urgency here. Complete to Ashton Clemens. Gain of three on the play. Second, so second down and seven. And seven. So we come up now on three and a half remaining in this ball game. They are taking way too long and they're in danger of getting a time count. Yeah, really, really would like to see a little better sense of urgency right here from the generals. They're flushed out of the pocket. Throws up a lame duck, and it's going to be intercepted and returned to the house. And there is your final dagger. It looked like you picked it off near the 40-yard the line. So a 40-yard touchdown. Flag on the play. Well, let's see. We've got a flag down, but I think that may be that may be after the fact. We'll see what they, what's called here. Touchdown. Yep. The touchdown stands. And with 3:01 to go. A lot of the fans are starting to make their way out of the stadium. So it was an errant throw. And again, the seventh turnover of the ball game. Yeah, the seventh turnover tonight. Or I should say correction, sixth turnover, the seventh. Yep, yeah, sixth loss. Yeah. Yep. And then. Six out of seven, so yeah. it's just unfortunate. So the Golden Eagles will go for two. Seems like there's a little con confusion here, too, of I what's going to what the call is. And this is like self <laughs> My goodness. There's a lot of confusion here, They're too. They're still, like, discussing things. Are they, are they like, trying to make plans for pizza after the game? Or maybe maybe they're trying to say no no touchdown, that it should, it should not count. We it's do. the only thing I can think. But, you know, one thing, you know, you got to give Coach Size more credit here for going, to, for going to bat, to going to bat for his troops here. Yep. I mean, that's, you know, trying to make the, the best out of this situation. Indeed. <coughs> so it only seems like an eternity because it is. Um, the 
They're still they're still talking out there on the field and they're still I want some kind of clarity, I guess. I don't know what they could be talking about. We've got 301 to go here. A pick six here by the Golden Eagles. <coughs> This is one of those where both coaches are just going to have to figure, they're going to have to talk to both coaches at length. And that's yeah. what they're doing. So it's, my goodness. I still, I just. Not really sure, too, what kind of Coach Sizemore here is battling for or what he's, what he's arguing for. But still, you know, like I said, props, you know, we give him all the credit for going to war, for going to battle and, and up front to his, to his kids right now. Mm. I don't know about you, partner. I guess about the only thing I got left is we could talk about the lunch schedules for next week. <laughs> I. This is this is this is this is very long. And really, really don't know what else to say. It's all set in stone. Yeah, pretty much. I mean. Uh, you can use any cliche you want, and it's applicable here. So let's just. My goodness. Like even the fans are kind of perplexed now as to what is yeah. going on here. Got no, I, no, I, no, really, no idea what's going on. Oh dear. Once again, still discussing things with the coaching, with the coaches. Is this is getting this is getting silly? Yeah. And, and still, you know, really don't know what 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 Coach Sizemore is is arguing for here, only for the sole fact of trying to get that to to not be a touchdown and, and make this a still your 22 to 14 game where you've still got a chance there, but with only three minutes left and, and you've only got two timeouts they're, and they're right there near the goal line. So I mean, there's nothing. If there were, mm. if let's just say for mm. semantic sake, if mm. there was a penalty against Shawnee. They would have to take it way back, and it's not going way back. So it's a touchdown, and they're just – I don't know what they're waiting for here. They want to get, like, lunch orders in late here before the, for the bus ride home? I don't know. No no idea what – but I think maybe we finally are going to get the two-point conversion here. All of that for this. Johnny sets up for the two-point conversion. And we finally get it settled down. And here's the two-point conversion. And dumped out to the left. And it is no good. You know, one shining thing kind of, you know, seems like this one's probably slipping away from the generals, Mick. But I've been very impressed tonight with Roseboro's defense. Yeah. I, I mean, you know, he's – He's one thing to maybe take away of, of a positive note on this of like of let's make the best out of a bad situation. Very been very impressed with Roseboro. Indeed. So 28-14 is your score. Two converted touchdowns here. The generals trail by and they've only got three minutes to do something. Could use one of those kick returns yeah. for her T D right about now. You sure could. Again, the Generals hit the road for three and will not be back. I believe it is October 5th. Yes, October. I think October 5th they come back, and then they're, then they're on the bye the next week. And then it's off to Jellico. But uh, back to receive for the Generals. This one's going to sting a little bit, so.
This may be the longest ending of a football game I've ever been a part of. I really feel like it's kind of been that way all night. It really seems kind of there's been that kind of that drag. Really just kind of a. So apparently they were discussing, the. You know, we talked about a penalty back there where, where they were going to assess it on, they, they probably it was going to be excessive celebration or something. And they a taunting maybe. They uh, assessed it on the kickoff is what they did. So here we go. Another chip shot going to be picked up at the 40-yard line. And good effort there. By, was that Lovell or was that Ashton? I believe that was the Summers. By Titus Summers. Oh, it is Summers. Yep, you're right. So, good field position here for the Generals, but they've only got 255. Time is not their friend here in the fourth quarter. So no. They will spot that ball at the 47 yard line. You're going to have to go fast and you're going to have to go in a hurry. Yep, no huddle. The, the plus to this is you do have two timeouts. Bad news, they've got the trail by two converted touchdowns as they're going to dish this one out over here on the left. And that one does not go. So it stops the clock, but it's second and ten. Second and ten. And one thing, too, really... You know, and you can see that general's on line is really starting to get wore down. They're very tired. Uh, and kind of, you know, Shawnee's really been able to get that pressure, not giving Clemens a whole lot of time to be able to stop back, drop back, and be able to complete the pass. Got to come up with a PRTC player of the game as well. Yeah. I'll leave that to you. Here's the snap over the right side. My goodness. Lemons pass intercepted <sighs> from bad to worse. That's pretty impressive, though. Yeah. I, I will say that's – he, he climbed the ladder to get that one. I was that, – that, that was probably one of the most athletic plays yeah, that, I've seen on this that, field. That, that, could be, that could be a play of the week statewide. <laughs> yeah, that was very impressive. You know, hopefully – Someone, someone down there taking pictures might have been able to get a picture of that because I mean he was high when he made that grab. He, 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 he skied up there. We'll put it that way. He did. Uh, yeah. So with 2:45 to go, Shawnee only needs to run the ball. First and 10 from their own 45, Shawnee, as they will go to two and two, they'll improve. Oh boy, here we go. Yeah. Tackled by number 20, Gage Curtis. Yeah, and that's one thing you really don't want to see here at the end. You know, it's been a very, it's been a pretty clean game so pretty, far. Pretty clean game, you really don't want to. I mean, you realize the frustration. And we've got an injured general on the ground. So they'll stop the clock with 2.36 to go. Yeah. So we'll be back with more right here on PRTC TV. Fiber powered internet from PRTC is fast, crazy fast. Experience crazy fast internet speeds from PRTC with reliable downloads up to one gig. Now you can surf, stream, game, chill with speed to spare. And with our new Gigaspire Blast, you'll enjoy the ultimate Wi-Fi experience everywhere in your home. Accelerate your internet. Contact PRTC to sign up or upgrade your internet today. There are lots of small reasons to have home phone service. And one very big one. 911 emergency location. Only a call from your home phone instantly transmits your address to emergency personnel. Cell phones can't. 911, what's your emergency? If trouble comes to your home, seconds count. PRTC Home Phone helps first responders do their job. 
It's a small price to pay for what you can save. Nick Hayes, the injured general, goes off the field under his own power, so that's good. There's now 236 left in this one. Looks like maybe kind of just the way they're, they're working on it, maybe a shoulder. Yeah, I mean, I said it's been Nick, – Nick had a good game tonight. He was playing pretty physical out there. Yeah. No, it's just what you were saying. And, I, and, you know, he's one of those kids, too. Him and number 62 there right there with him, Aiden Collins. Those those have been, you know, two kids that have been really the heart and soul of, of this general's football team on the defensive and the offensive line as well. You know, been very proud of those guys. They've battled through a lot of adversity in their in their high school career. Nick being a super senior mm -hmm. um, and, you know, things like that. There's, you know, you're hoping everything's okay. Looking like it might be a shoulder injury. Hopefully it's not too serious. Hopefully just maybe a real bad stinger. Tackle by number 66, Will Rose and number 77. So Will Rose John in on the stop two. on that run. And, well, like I said, time is going down. Jackson County will fall to 2-2. Two and two. So both teams will be at 500 after tonight. Yep. And uh, have you given any thoughts yet to who you'd like to see as your PRTC player of the game? Yes, I believe our, our PRTC player of the game will be. Here we go, another run on. Here's a race, one man to beat. Get him out of bounds. Touchdown saving tackle. Yeah. Or force out. My goodness. And really, I mean, what an amazing effort there by, by level. You're, you know, down two scores with a minute 37 left. You know, really impressed with, with that. Jaden level on the tackle. And they'll spot the ball. Looks like at the 17. First and 10, Shawnee. And Mick, our, our PRTC player of the game tonight will be uh, Jeremiah Forrest for, for Shawnee, number 13. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, he had a couple touchdowns on the ground and one in the air, one passing as well. You know, very, you know, very, very nice game by him. Very much so. And now, again, to close it out. It was close, but I believe it may be a first down, first and goal, it looks like. And, and I think one thing, too, here, Mick, just kind of something, something to watch is uh, how, how are these generals going to respond? Mm -hmm. how, how are they going to handle this adversity? You know, coming in on, on the high of highs, probably the definitely the biggest room. crowd that, that this group of people have ever, have, have ever played in front of and things like that. And, you know, how are they going to be able to handle this adversity and, and things like that? Well, here we go. First and goal. On the outside and tackled before he could get into the end zone. So, and and, and I think we can both well agree winning fixes a lot, but losing hurt hurts a lot and makes things pretty bad. Well, they're gonna go. They're gonna try and see if they can get more points in here. Low snap rolled out, and it will be a sack to end the ball game. So the final score here at Jackson County High School, the Generals fall to the Shawnee Golden Eagles by a score of 28-14. And well, it's two and two for both schools as they head on to next week. Well, that's gonna do it from here in Education Mountain. A big thank you to our crew, our cameraman, of course our producer, Mark Selfridge, for Hunter, I am mixing so long here from Jackson County High School. Your final once again, 28-14, Shawnee defeats Jackson County. You've been watching high school football right here on PRTC-TV.